Good morning, good morning, good morning, and howdy, 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 and welcome to another edition, another edition of Weller Does Del Marva. Golly day, it seems like just a week ago we were here, seven days, but anyway, we're sitting inside, inside, inside the Sunrise Restaurant in Dewey Beach, Delaware. Weller Does Dewey, and we're here till March, May, May, not March, May 18th, so we're looking for a new home. If you're out there and you're listening and you'd like to uh, host the show and have us do the show at your restaurant, we would love to join you, join you. You hear a lot of chatter in the background. We have quite a group of people here. And uh, so we say thank you for tuning in. It's going to be a two-hour show. Good morning. And anyway, so we're right here. The food is great. Most of us have already had something to eat. And um, from the time you order to the time you get it is usually less than... Five minutes. So keep that in mind. It's usually less than five minutes. So we're going to talk a little bit about uh, something coming up on Thursday night. Thursday night on TV Delmarva and on Fine Day Radio. It is a meet and greet. This is at the West Side uh, Restaurant in Milford, West Side in Milford. Um, it is this Thursday night. I believe that's the 18th, this Thursday night. And uh, it starts at Everybody's gathering at 5. We're going live at 6 o'clock, 6 to 8, and we're going to be letting you meet some of the candidates that are running for the uh, Council of Milford. One of them is uh, Medulla, who actually owns West Side. Then a Lori Connor is going to be there. Todd Collada is running for mayor. Uh, Michael Stewart. And then uh, Philip Ruiz, in other words. So these are some of the candidates that are running. For one is running for mayor, which is Todd, and then the others are running for town council of Milford or city council, whatever they call it. And we're doing a meet and greet, and there's going to be some free food, uh, maybe an opportunity for you to join us on air. It's hard to say. So, Colin, how you doing? It's been a hectic morning, just a hectic morning for Colin. A lot of wires, a lot of things not going right. We'll do our picture in the meantime. Speaker not working. That speaker not working. All right. It's annoying. It annoying. is. Very okay. annoying. Very, very annoying. Exactly. Anyway. All right. We're here. Well, we got to right. We're on the air. We're on the air on two radio stations. Well, one now, but right. it will be two. Yep. This thing comes unscrewed. There we go. Oh, okay. Unscrewed and unglued. Okay. All, All right. right. Well, so, good morning. Good morning. Are you excited about Wednesday night? Oh. Not Wednesday night. I'm excited night. about Thursday night. <laughs> I don't know what's happening Wednesday night. You're right. But I was Thursday just checking with you. Good. Thursday night. <laughs> A meet and greet. It's yeah, really cool. It is. It really is. So they they reached out to us, invited us, and right. uh, we said that sounds like something we want to. Can we just make cover. sure everybody knows? Like we didn't plan this. It, there has been some chatter on Facebook. Like we have no idea. We've planned this thing, and that we because there's another event that night. Apparently, Correct. we knew nothing about either event. Right. We got invited to one of them. We said, sure, that sounds good. Right. So, so if you want us, you need to invite us. In other words, right, if you want exactly. us to do something somewhere, you need to ask us. In other right. words, you know, and don't be miffed if I somebody does and well, somebody doesn't. I don't know doesn't. that the other event even wanted us. We just I don't know. know. About well, it I mean, okay, yeah, but people, so. I just want to make sure people don't think this was our idea or that we right, set it, it up. Right. It was nothing like that. You know, right. we're not we're for out hire. to get anybody. Right. Uh, we're for hire, and sometimes we work for to free. To start any controversy. <laughs> no, right. Because we thrive on controversy. No, we don't. It seems to... Milford has been uh, had some controversy here lately, and it's just yeah. I, I think people are just really in a miff keyed up here. About they are things, so yeah. But there's a lot of good things happening. I would agree. And I think where there's friction, there's fire, and where there's fire, there's movement. In other words, you know, and smoke. right, there's growth. Right, smoke. Look for right. The smoke. Right. <laughs> so anyway, um, oh my gosh. Uh, so Thursday yeah, night, we want you to come out. We're Thursday expecting night. about 100 people. It should be a good turnout. We're going to be at West Side Restaurant. Medulla yep. there, she's uh, putting this on, or the, the restaurant is. I don't know if she is or not. Right, but, but she said there's going to be some sliders. Some sliders, yeah. I hope that means hamburger sliders. You were hoping they meant crab guatemala. cake sliders. Crab, oh, yeah, I was guatemala. hoping for What's a guatemala? I have no idea. I was just glad I could pronounce guacamole. the name. Guacamole. <laughs> said you could pronounce it wrong. <laughs> Guacamole sliders. Yes. Oh my gosh. Anyway, it's going to be a good time. It it's is. a free event. Yep. And um, it's this well, Thursday night. And if you can't make it out, you can tune into TV Del Marva. Yeah. Going to be broadcast over the air on television on yeah. TV Del Marva. It's going to be on Fine Day 1023. And it's going to be on, on all of our Facebook pages. Yeah. Uh, and then I actually just talked to Medulla. It's going to be on the West Side Facebook pages. Oh, well. there you go. So we're Everywhere. going to work that out next week. Yeah. Everywhere. So, uh, But I want to make it clear if you have an event coming up, whether you're a town or whether you're an organization or whatever, we might be for hire. 
we might work for free. We might want to get paid. You know what I mean? What if you have words, something that's called the bug and bud event? Bud. Bug We're and gonna bud. We're going to bite that one, too. You said the bug comes before the bud. The bug comes before the bud, yeah. Okay. So, anyway, the bug, bug, and, bud. and bud festival. Oh, I hear the things so, coming on. We'll talk but, about that in about right. 25 minutes. Yes. Right. The bug and bud festival. All right. I'll see you, Jim. All right. Good morning, everybody. Jim Weller here, and um, good morning. This is another edition. So, you're saying, what am I listening to? Tell me what's going on. Jim Weller, this is a live Saturday morning show. We do it every Saturday morning from 7 to 9 right here on a couple radio stations. We're on TV. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. This is show number 553. I cannot believe that we have done this show that long without ever missing a show. So, you know, a lot of radio personalities don't even hold a job this long so in any way uh i'm holding on to this with dear life i guess it's something to be proud of anyway all right so picture time right here both of us all right we're good you good all right this is sarah uh labright is that right yes you should know by now well i like to make sure i thought we were friends i'm always testing you okay see if i remember my name right right (laughs) right some people forget their own name I've probably done it. All right. Downtown Milford Incorporated. What do you call that? DMI? DMI. Okay. Yes. And what is your official title there? I'm the executive director. Executive director. Mm-hmm. Now, does that mean you it get just means when you take staff, corporate trips? It, it means I don't make all the decisions, but if oh, something goes okay. wrong. They can blame you. I can get blamed. That's very nice. That's very um, nice. We of have them. a wonderful board. They wouldn't you do, do that to me, but no, we, right. um, we can take one, once a year. I actually we are partnered with Main Street America. Oh, really? Um, which Rehoboth has one. Um, a lot of Main Street America. It's Main Street America. It's a pretty amazing organization, and it um, encourages growth and development and economic vitality okay. for Main Street. So when you drive oh. through a town, it doesn't look like it just it's lived for a while and died. Right. It helps bring that town alive, which brings your history and the character of a town. So right. I love that about it. But we learn ways to do that um, through all sorts of venues. Networking. So we're actually going to Alabama this year. Really? Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm looking well, forward to it. That sounds like a good trip. So yeah. Milford's got a lot going on. Oh a lot goodness. of businesses coming, mm-hmm. just new things. Yep. Um, they're revitalizing the roads and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, which so has been just... a little bit of a nightmare. Del Dot has scheduled some of them a little close together, but it's needed. Now, that was a joke. Be patient. You're saying you are trying to say they scheduled the projects close together, close together, but people believe they've actually made the roads narrower to make people's vehicles closer uh, together. No, I wasn't saying that. Okay. But uh, the, the sidewalks actually are a little bit larger, and they're nice. They're it is. nicer I've, to walk on when they're well, done. I've actually seen a car drive down one, in other <laughs> words. You know, so I, I think they have a multi-purpose, in other words. So anyway, I, there's a video out there. I'm sure. There's I'm always sure. a video out there now. Thank yeah, God right. when I was in college, there weren't videos out right. there. So... All right, so what did you want to talk about today? I want to talk about our Bug and Bud Festival <clears throat> that okay. Colin just The 27th, I believe. Mm-hmm. It starts weeks. at 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Our vendors can show up as early as 7. Okay. Um, and it'll be over at 4. Over at 4. How many vendors you got so far? I believe I didn't check with the promotions committee right before I got here, but last I checked of last week, we were at 150. That's a lot. It's a lot of vendors. So what's we, it we cost? closed off Washington, Park Avenue, and um, Walnut. So is there going to be free parking that day? There's always free parking. In always Milford. in Milford. Okay, just There's wanted you to free say parking. it. And there always is plenty free of parking. parking. People just don't always know where it is. Okay. But we will have maps that we'll put up ahead oh, really? of time. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So vendor space. Is there any more available, or is that closed? S- some. Some, we okay. We want to appease the public, so okay. we're trying to work with people. I had some uh, local real estate agents reach out yesterday, and I was like, oh, gosh, I want to get them in because right. I, I they've agree. been around for a long right. time. You want to show right. that you appreciate all businesses, but you also want to mix it up a little bit. You guys I are would. supposed to be there. Yeah, we're broadcasting. Yeah. So we're excited about that. I'm excited about it, too. Okay. I really appreciate you guys doing that. All right. We're trying to get our van lettered by then, so we'll see. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to have... Um, some live music. We have a huge. What kind of music? Um, Hip hop. It's. I think it's going to be more country. No rap. Country. Oh, country rap. 
No rap, I don't think. Not that there's anything wrong with rap. Thanks, thanks for I making me I was looking me forward to rap. <laughs> All right. Um, so country. We're having a huge uh, kids' corner that's oh, okay. free. Oh, really? Like what? Uh, it's a kids' have, corner. Extreme Bounce has um, given us an oh, amazing discount on okay. bounce houses and okay. an obstacle course, which okay. I think will be fun for all ages. Mm -hmm. We have a um, fenced-in area. It's actually our downtown uh, basketball courts oh. that the city has made. Um, they're really nice, but they'll be, um, because they're fenced off, it'll be nice for younger kids. You know, if you idea. want to go outside the fence and put your kid in there for a right, little bit. Right, right. Um, Melford High School kids um, have an organization with a friend of mine, Katie, and she has uh, volunteered and set that all up for activities and games. Really? So you can kind of go around station to station. Wow, your kids are safely inside of yes, fence. Yes, there will, there will be some free food. Um, what kind of food's free? Free ICs. Oh, it's for the kids. For the kids. Okay, never mind. It's I not think the free ICs. Well, well, they'll be outside the kids station, but I think okay. the free ICs. You know, you can have some too. But um, okay. Meineke and Lighthouse Church have come together and oh, done really? that. Okay. Um, Avenue Church has um, donated their time and a spot for kids games. Um, Sean Collins from State Farms in Milford. Oh, okay. He has. A, he's one of our sponsors for this event, and he set up a face painting station. Really? Yeah, because yeah. as a mom, previous years when I've gone to different events, it's so costly, and sometimes you steer your kids away from the events. And then this the is all free. All the stuff there because they're sponsoring it, and that's taking yes, care of it. We appreciate that's that. That's very nice of them. So thank the sponsors when you're yes. there. Yes, uh, they've got well, a booth. Can I actually say a little thing for my sure. sponsors? Sure. Yep. So we have DMI, of course, is sponsoring the lemonade stand for kids okay. and the kids station and music. We have Bay Health. Okay. EB Hospital is new this year because they have a new annexed place out by Grotto's in Milford. Okay. Um, we have State Farm, Hunter, Emery. Okay. Um, we have the Milford Chronicle, City of Milford, Delaware Lottery. Okay. We've got Delaware Lottery this year. Um, Aha and O'Connor Orthodontics. Okay. You might have some grandkids there. Right. And, um, of course, again, Sean Collins, who's been Very involved good. in everything. That's a nice group of people. It is a nice group. Right. We're hoping Very to good. maybe get... Um, Couple Shell more. Brothers, since they're scooting into okay. Milford with that development, okay. right. I haven't yeah. heard back yet. But hopefully. you never know; they got time. Yeah, they Make got time. Mind. We got right. plenty of events coming up right. all summer long. We've got First Friday events and holiday stroll and an eat in the street, so you can right. check downtown um, Milford, Milford Incorporated online. Like their Facebook page. Like their Facebook page okay. and see all of our events. All right. Anything else I need to know? I think that's it. Okay. Well, Thank you so I'm going to let you go if that's okay. You did a good job. Thanks for coming so Thank far. You. Oh. Where'd you come from? Greenwood? Milford? Lincoln. Lincoln. Okay. What did you Stinkin Stinkin Lincoln. Stinkin Lincoln. All right. We like Lincoln. It's got one of the nicest dollar generals in town. It does. Right. Thank you All right. So much. I'll see you. Bye-bye. Yes, Lincoln has some very unique potholes, too. All right. What else is going on? Uh, easy payroll. <clears throat> this is my accountant, George Luff, Luff & Associates. Tyler, his son, and George, they run the business. We're very happy with them. We were there the other day talking about some things and some tax strategies and so on. And uh, anyway, if you need an accountant, I really like de dealing with Luff & Associates. In other words, I've been dealing with them 25, 30 years. I don't know how long, but a long time. So anyway, if you need an accountant, I've only had two in my life, and uh, George Luff and uh, his son Tyler, and then there's a whole team of people, Luff and Associates. They have an office in Rehoboth, they have an office in Dover, and they have one in Milford, okay? So if you have any questions, you need any help, you need to file an extension, you want some advice, give them a call. Here's their phone number. It's 302-422-9699, 422-9699. Luff, that's L-U-F-F, CPAs.com. I like them. You'll like them. They're good people. They'll do a good job for you. Now, Denise is here. How are you, Denise? Good. And a uh, couple things I wanted to mention while I've got you here. Okay. All right. I think Linda wants to take our picture. Yes, the she first does. Thing. Are you ready? All I right. saw the most beautiful sunrise on the way here. Where was oh, that at? Well, I mean, it was to the east of me, but it was like the sky was bright, bright orange. It was beautiful. Really? Yeah, I could Very see colorful. it as I was driving down the you know highway. Wow. Down Route One. All right, what do you what do you got? Okay, guess what's happening um, tomorrow? A guessing game in the Greenwood area. Greenwood. Let me see. Tomorrow is Sunday. Oh. 
I'm off. I'm sorry. It's not tomorrow. It I was, was a trick Friday. question. No, I forgot. It's actually. Well, what was it that you were talking about? I can't Saren's remember now. Saren's birthday? No. Yeah, no. I thought Saren's birthday's the 16th. Uh-oh. I thought it was next. No, it's her 11th birthday. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it is the it, 16th. It's the 16th. It's Tuesday. Okay. All right. I'm a little combobulated today. Okay, okay. everybody, keep up with me. Mm. Okay. We'll start with Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday is Saren's birthday. Yes. Her 11th birthday, I believe. Do you know what she asked for? No. And I was so glad to give it because I love it. You know the little shelfie printer, however you pronounce for it? printing pictures? Yes. I just love mine. I use it all the time. And that's what she asked for. So we got her one. I hope she's not listening. But anyway, maybe, maybe um, I doubt it. It's yeah. pretty early for her. Anyway, so but I'm excited. I love it. A selfie printer. So yeah. this is for printing pictures. Denise prints a lot of pictures. She makes journals. She makes scrapbooks, different right. things. Well, I mean, they're a little costly. So if I'm doing like a big thing, like when, like when I did your party, I had a lot of pictures. So I send those to Walmart. Okay. But like if I just have one picture, like I'm snagging off of Facebook or yeah, something, right. then I'll now. just print it right then. Yeah. All right. I like it. So happy birthday happy to our birthday, granddaughter, Sarah. Saren, on Tuesday. Yeah. So if you know Saren, uh, wish her a happy birthday on Tuesday, all right? You know, we wouldn't have much of a social life together if it wasn't for our grandkids. Oh, no, right. Yeah, right. what did we do this week? I had to write it down. We went to a, our first soccer game. That was cool, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. One yep. of our granddaughters is into soccer. Greenwood so. Mennonite School, soccer team. So now we're learning all the rules yeah, about of soccer. soccer. You yeah. hit it with your head, you hit it with your chest you hit it with your leg I yeah mean, she's done everything she loves volleyball she loves softball yeah. and um now she's not, now when she's into soccer okay and then we went to our first track meet that's right brody's in track yeah that was interesting too watching them hand the little thing off the baton yeah that was that throw was, this little ball what's it called yeah, it's a, a shot, shot put, put. Yeah, yeah, and there, so he can practice. I seen they ordered one on Amazon. Really? And um, the discus. What is it called? Is that what it's called? A discus yeah, when I you try so. to. Yep, anyway, so that, yeah, so that's what he's doing. So, I don't Our know. Our grandkids are keeping us young. I know. You know, I never did anything like that when I was a child. Really? Did we miss something yesterday? I don't it know. Might have been canceled because of rain. I don't know what it would have been. I thought there was. Oh, it was out of town, I think. And then Brody's on the uh, Bible quiz team. Yes, Bible quiz. Yeah, they're very active. Grandkids. Yeah, they're really. Okay, I'm so and proud Sarah of my and Dan are both signed up for ball. Yeah, for um, Little League. Bridge Little League. Yeah. So we are just going to be running, running, yes, running, no running question. to all these games. Well, and tonight good. we have a violin concert. A violin concert. We're not playing the violin. No, but our but granddaughter is very good at violin, yes, and this is, is um, she is involved with an orchestra. I know. That you have to pay is this, a lot Lewis? of money for tickets to to listen to this orchestra. Right. <laughs> it's tonight in Lewis. Yeah. A violin know, Yeah, I don't concert. know the name of the group or Me whatever, either, but that's but what we're doing tonight. So, so. Huh, catch your breath there for a minute. I know. We are on the search for a new zero-turn mower. Oh, yes. Okay, our yes. mower's fine, but we've been told if we're going to sell it, now's, now's the, time the time to sell, to sell it sell for it. top dollar. Mm -hmm. So we are out and about looking at zero-turn mowers. We looked at a, a couple yesterday. We're going to look at just a few more. Right. It's a sizable investment. We want to make the right decision. But I want to just throw this out there. Okay. If you want to make a deal with me on a zero-turn mower. So that's going to determine what mower we get. In exchange <laughs> for advertising either on this show or on our billboards, we are open to that. We are open to that. Okay? We are open to because that. Because then you could be the official sponsor of the uh, Fine Day Farm Lonnie yeah, Kermit. I will talk about it weekly. Weekly, there you go. So, because she is the owner operator. I know. I love doing yard work. I got two full days in this week. And just you are so. From the you time make I day. woke up until it got dark, it yep. was just wonderful. Yeah, So it I was. got a lot done. Do you want to talk about the weasel situation? Oh, the weasel situation. I didn't even know we had a weasel. I didn't even know what a weasel looks oh, like. Oh, it's awful. I heard the screaming in our woods. Okay. And so I looked back there and I seen this. It wasn't a fox because it had little short legs and it was a long body okay. and it was gray. Anyway, it was pointing up at this tree. No way it was an alligator. No. Okay. Anyway, so I, and then I seen this cat up in the tree. Okay. And so it wasn't very high up. So I started running towards it to scare it away. Okay. And then I went back and got a thing of food and a ladder and I was going to go save this kitten. Okay. 
Anyway, so I get there. The thing ran away after, but it waited before I, like, it, I wasn't right on top of it. Did you say it to it, I'll be back? No, but okay. anyway, he wanted that little kitten so bad it was awful. I could just cry. Okay. Anyway, so then I um, cleared all the brush off so I could get the ladder up the, towards the tree and did all that. The cat's watching me. I'm talking to it. I'm feeding it. It looks a little bit in shock, you know, but. So You're anyway, half in shock. What? You're half in shock. I'm half in shock. So anyway, then I put the ladder up to the tree, and the cat freaked and jumped out of the tree and took off running. And Aren't you I'm, glad it didn't jump in your face and scratch you all up? Yeah, I never thought of that, because I was just going to reach at, reach out and grab right, it. standing you know? on a ladder. Yeah. and Nobody and so, knows you're out there. So I never really thought about it, but I was determined. I love saving life. I've, I've rescued a lot of animals. You have And that. you've been right there with me, too, yes, rescuing a lot of animals. So it's just what, it's what I do. But right. This but one we don't was, want any more. You no, know, this one was a tough one because I didn't even know weasels were around here. This is an example of why you should conceal carry. I would have shot the gun. thing. That's what well, I mean. I shot you need to learn I mean, how to operate a gun. It's against the law to shoot something like that. I don't think if it's on your own property, it's against the law. I think it's just against the law if it's public property. Right. If I could do it all over again, I would have gone and set out, set a trap out. Yep, and, and put, trap the weasel. And trap the weasel, right. Right. But anyway, okay. I just want, I just thought I was going to go out there, climb the ladder, pick up the little kitten, and take it home with me. Trap that weasel, have him neutered, and then make him tame. No, I was going <laughs> to I was gonna learn how to use a gun is what I was going to okay. do. Okay. Well, don't. Anyway. All right. I just want you to get some proper <laughs> training. Don't just bust open the box with the guns in them and yeah. put the bullets in it and say, well, how would this one get in my head? Oh. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Anyway, so that's it. So I didn't get the cat. Or the weasel. Or the weasel. And now I know it's lurking So if anybody there. wants a free weasel. Come get it. Come get it. Okay. It's out in our woods somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get you some training. We're going to get you a pistol. And you will be prepared. We're going to go to Best Shot and best learn shot. all that. Best Shot. There you yes, go. Yes, I can do that. Okay. That way you will be prepared when a weasel shows up. Remember the day we had the rabid fox or something foaming at the mouth no i don't remember it was that. under our camper oh that was a raccoon raccoon yeah don't mention anything about what happened to it okay but anyway we had a rabid raccoon one time yeah so we had somebody come and help us figure out how to handle you know situation. i love wildlife and right. we just got squirrels in our woods and right. now that that weasel's back there i think he's gotten all the squirrels and i bet he's been eating all our frogs I know, and I just, I love wildlife, but I don't like the food chain thing, you right, know? Right, I like all the little animals and the deer, but you not the You can look ones. out in our field and there'll be 10, 15 deer. Yeah, I don't like the animals that eat other animals to live. Right, and that's every animal We just, just want about. vegetarians. And our tax ditch is so full, we might um, have alligators. Yeah, we might. We might. We might. Okay. That's um, it. All right, well then thanks for stopping by. That yeah. was quite a busy week it was a busy and today's week. only saturday i know so i don't know what the weather's going to be this week i have to have what to do you have planned for today today i am going to go get some paint i learned the difference between milk paint mineral paint and chalk paint okay and there's a store that sells mineral paint in milford and it is um you can put it on furniture for outside okay so um i'm going to do a uh, chair a couple chairs i'm gonna do that on the front porch yeah i did those now i got my other set to do okay. so um that's what i'm gonna do go get some paint and paint up them chairs okay that's it all right okay i'm gonna say thank you for stopping by okay okay all right all see right. ya Bye. <laughs> see ya all right the life and times of denise weller there she goes all right dry zone let's talk about dry zone man all this wet weather people have been calling wanting their crawl space encapsulated or they got a leaky basement or whatever dry zone has been a wonderful sponsor of the show so thank you to uh, bill and heather for sponsoring weller does delmarva all these years but if you need a crawl space encapsulated we understand everybody and their brother is getting into it but there is only one there's only one dry zone okay and there's only one company that does it the way dry zone does it because it's the dry zone way i just had a house done in greenwood tickled to death with it Took my grandkids under there and showed them all around, made a video, and uh, their work is meticulous, and I really like dealing with them. I've had numerous projects done with Dry Zone. So if you have any questions, if you have a basement that's leaking, 
if you um, have any foundation problems. That's another thing that they can help you with, whether you got an old house or a new house. If you've got foundation problems, that is something that DryZone can help you with. So whatever you need, go to DryZone.com. Look on there, and you can see all the different services they provide. Also, they have a business called Hello Garage, which is like a sister company to them, where they come in and put a polyespermatic. Man, I can never say it right. All right, polyespermatic. Forget it. I never can say it when I need to say it. But anyway, they put a floor coating on your garage floor. It looks like new. They fix the cracks. It looks like better than new. So anyway, Hello Garage does some shelving some brackets, some cabinets to make your garage very useful. So, whether it's a leaky basement, a crawl space, a foundation problem, or whatever you have or whatever you may need, just give them a call. One phone number, whether it's Hello Garage or Dry Zone, it's 302-684-5034. 302-684-5034. DryZone.com on the web. Hello Garage on the web. And then, of course, they're both on Facebook, too like their Facebook page. All right. Oh, one more thing. I wanted to tell everybody about I'll Be There Cleaning and Care. This is Dawn Kennedy. So if you're just tired of cleaning your house, if you want to get somebody to come and do it one time, or you want to get them to do it regularly, you know, or you've got offices, or you got a camper or a motorhome, and you're getting ready to break it out for this year, and you want a good deep cleaning of the inside, she does that. If you got an Airbnb or a VRBO, she can help you with rental properties. She does cleaning, 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 okay? So if you have any questions, give her a call. She's honest. She's fair. She's very detail-oriented. She'll do what she says she's going to do, and her name is Dawn Kennedy. I'll be there cleaning and care, okay? Phone number 302-362-7064, 302 362 7064. I'll be there cleaning and care. I'll be there cleaning and care. Okay. Plus, she does give discounts to first responders, seniors, and military. So give her a call. Tell her I sent you and like her Facebook page too, if you would. Wellers is going to be open today. I think Chuck Creighton's going to call in um, a little bit after 7 30. We're going to chit chat with him. We got a couple call ins today. And if you ever want to be on this show, let me know. We'll figure out how to get you worked in. And if you have any questions ever about the show, get up with me and uh, I'll tell you what it takes to be an advertiser or whatever. We've been doing this show now. Uh, we're starting our 11th year of doing it. It's called Weller Does Del Marva. We do it every Saturday morning. We're out and about. Currently, we are in Dewey Beach at the Sunrise Restaurant. And then we are looking for a new home. Our last day here is May 18th. So if you own a restaurant and you'd like us to bring a crowd of people to you on Saturday mornings, plus all kinds of publicity all week long, you get like 30 radio ads on two different radio stations and 30 radio ads on TV, plus all kinds of Facebook and billboards. We do a lot to promote the show and promote your location. And um, it's very, very affordable advertising. So you could hire us to come to your restaurant on Saturday mornings. We would broadcast live and uh, bring you some people and give you a lot, a lot, a lot of publicity. Any questions, let me know. We are looking for a new location to go to, okay? It would be starting on May 25th because May 18th is our last time here, all right? So any questions, give me a call uh, at 8, not at 8.30, yeah, at 7.30 right now. We're taking a break from Delaware 105.9, and I want my 105.9 audience to switch over to Facebook. I don't want you to miss anything while we're on break. We keep right on talking. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. So we say. are back. We were talking about the event on the 18th. Yeah. Um, and if people want to come out and join us, and then we're at the Bud and Bug Festival. Nope, Bug and, and Bud. Bug. bug and Bud. I'm going to yep. get it one of these days. Yep. Bug and Bud Festival. So let's talk about the 18th real quick. So the 18th. That's this Thursday. That's this Thursday. So uh, it is my son William's birthday. Oh, really? Yep. He'll be with his mom, though, that day. So I'm not missing out on anything with him. We're having his party this weekend. So okay. uh, tomorrow, or today, tomorrow. actually. Today. Today, today, okay. today yeah. So uh, anyway. Birthday, Will. Yeah. Happy birthday, Will. Will. Okay. He'll be uh, 11 years old. Really? 11 yeah. years old. Yep. But... um. So the 18th, that's going to be at West Side Restaurant. Downtown Milford. If you're not familiar with that, it's kind of behind the post office. Yep. The old Meds Market. You that's right, where Meds, Meds Market? Market used to be yeah. 30 years ago. Who will right remember there. that? Maybe uh, you and I? I think we do. 
Sarah, you remember Meds Market? I can there? remember okay. going to Meds Market and buying water guns, squirt guns. Really? To go play at the hospital fair. Okay. Yep. Because really they were do. too expensive at the hospital fair. Probably. Or they the didn't have selling them. them there. They probably didn't want them there. But the hospital fair was at the school. Was at the middle school. That's right. Yeah. Yep. I remember that. I do. I remember the it was a good time. Fair. Man, I forgot about that. Yeah. That's time going past. Colin's huh? like, what are you talking about, hospital no fair? no idea. Yeah. Yep. But fried anyway. chicken. They fried up chicken there, didn't yeah. they? And all the booths, you know, like the little frames and everything yeah. for the booths, are all at the Greenwood Mennonite School now. Oh, really? Yeah. So when okay. they have their festival the first Saturday in June, yeah. you'll be able to see the booths that used to be at, at the, the hospital, hospital fair. fair. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Yep, so. So anyway, the 18th, we'll be at Westside Restaurant. It's going to yeah. be a, they're calling it a cookout Meeting for great. the new candidates. Like a new candidates. Yeah. And um, you're going to be able to. Uh, right there. Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah, you're going to be able to. Uh, is that it? That's it. Oh, these are the ones that are These are the ones that are running. Some of the candidates that might be there. So, uh, Madola, actually, that yep. owns Westside Restaurant. Lori Connor. Be there. Todd Collada, she'll probably Todd be Collada. there. Yeah. Todd Michael Kata. Stewart and uh, Phil Ruiz. Yep. So he has the barber shop. Yes, he does. Over there. So, yeah. Um, so it's going to be a good time just to meet and greet. I want to make it crystal, crystal clear that we did not plan this, that we did not organize it. We did right. not purposely. We didn't even come up with the idea. Right. In other words, I guess there is. Originally, there were some people thought there was going to be a debate. But a lot of these people said they weren't going to it. And a debate's not a debate with only one person. Right. So, in other words, so they wanted to do this, mm-hmm. and there's just all this confusion, and that's all good. That That's what Milford thrives on is confusion. But what I'm saying is, is <laughs> no. Come on, I'm Jim. just saying that we did not plan this. We did all. not plan this. We did not organize this. We were simply invited to it, and we said, yes, we would love to do it. And the people going to the debate are welcome. Because, because of this. Because yeah. there's time for everybody right, to come to both this, things. And that's is, the goal for us the, to come Well, together. the event is from 5 to 8. Our broadcast is from 6 to 8. So right. I, there was a little confusion with that. Somebody asked me that question. So Because what we're promoting is our right. broadcast. I think their event there. goes till 9. This one? No. The, the other, other one. one. Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about the one that we're going to be at is, is 5 to 8. Right. Our broadcast is 6 to 8. Correct. Yeah. Right. So anyway... Please come yes. hang out with us. They're anticipating a very large crowd at and this gonna, point. And you're going to get some people on air, too. I think we're going to get people yes. on air. Uh, if you want to be on the radio, you want to be on TV. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be uh, opportunity for that. And and there's opportunity for you to talk to these new candidates mm-hmm. and ask them face-to-face in a one-on-one setting what, instead of a formal debate what's so setting. Special about, this is how you want to start your question. What's so special about you that you deserve my vote? That's I'm going to lead in Set with that. Set the tone, Because I, I don't know? even live in Milford, so <laughs> that would be a fair question for me. <laughs> right. I'm going to move to Milford before all this is over, though. I can mm. sense it's coming. All right. You didn't even know I wanted to run for something oh, in Milford. So so your weasel. <laughs> now, have okay. you actually seen this? You've seen this thing? Yeah, I did see it. Okay. Was it fluffy? No, it was, it was long about this big. Okay. okay. Big fluffy tail? Four paws, great, gray with a black face. That, so there's a thing called a fisher, and those things are vicious. They're in the, they're kind of like a weasel family, and they're, they're like on the eastern shore of Maryland, and they're probably moving over here too with the coyotes. So yeah, not a coyote. Carry a gun. Coyote. 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 Selling coyote meat. Yeah. So that uh, there's yeah there's all kinds of different animals. Colin just looked up. There's minks around here too, apparently. There's some minks, yeah. Ooh, there we yeah. go. He's yeah, selling so the fur. Now you're now you're talking money. Right. Yeah. Huh? Well, those fisher cats apparently are vicious. Yeah. Yep. It had her yeah. shook up. Yeah. She's carrying a ladder across the field. I know nothing's going on. That's your weapon ladder? Yeah. No, weapon's not choices a trip. ladder. Climb up and to get away from them. <laughs> <laughs> Denise needs to carry a gun. I'm, I'm more yeah. convinced all the time. Uh, just a little sidearm would be good enough. Yep. 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 Something easy to handle. Yep. Yep. Automatic 32 something bullets. Small, like a 45 caliber or something. Yeah. All right. <laughs> What's that other one? That's, That's what I like to carry is a 45. A 380. 380. Yeah. 380. I actually yeah. bought her a gun. It's called. It's a. It's a revolver, but it doesn't have the hammer or something. I don't. Oh, know. okay. Yeah. 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 Yep. It's got a laser and all that. Yeah. We just have never um got into using these guns yet. Yeah. So. Yeah. But we have quite a quite a adventures out there on Fine Day Farm. 
never know what it's going to yeah, be. I know, right? I saw somebody in the driveway yesterday as I was coming back. Picking so up I, a gun that you have. You saw yeah. somebody in the driveway. So yeah. I parked in my neighbor's driveway just to watch what they were doing. Okay. In other words. And, uh, they and your neighbor was parked in their neighbor's driveway <laughs> watching what you were doing. <laughs> I was just thinking. Maybe that's what they were doing. Somebody was right. parked in there. Yeah. Right. Actually, the person saw our dog at the end of our lane and was worried it was going to go out in the road, which was very nice, and wanted to make sure our dog got back up to our house. Man, I leave right. dogs alone. I don't mess with any dogs yeah. I see running around or cats or anything. Are we back already? We're back. Yeah. Okay, we're back. All right. All I'll right. see you Sorry. in 30 minutes, Jim. Okay, thank you. Yep. Fisher okay. cat. Look that up. Fisher yeah, cat. see that? That thing's vicious looking, isn't it? That is vicious looking. That is vicious looking. Holy mackerel. Gonna take a big gun to take that down. Oh my goodness! All right, Jim Weller here. We're talking about um, what were we talking about? Weasels and Fisher cats and the reason Denise needs to carry a gun around the house. All right. So what else is going on? So we're gonna have Chuck Creighton on the phone here in a little bit. So whenever he's ready, just let me know. I'm gonna talk real quick about a sponsor segment, which is Dr. T and Dr. Bud Peninsula Chiropractic Center, Peninsula Chiropractic Center in Seaford. They're chiropractors, okay? I love them. I love them. Denise loves them. I love them. Jimmy loves them. Everybody loves them, in other words. So if you need a chiropractor, you will love them too. So uh, if you've never been to a chiropractor, check them out. If you've been and didn't get the results you were hoping for, give them a chance. They accept most insurances. They also accept cash if you just want a cash pay. But anyway, they're right outside of Seaford. It's Peninsula Chiropractic Center. There's two chiropractors there. One is Dr. T., Dr. Trillia, he's the owner, and then there is Dr. Bud, okay? Both of them, I love them both, and they do a great job. Any questions, just give them a call, 302-628-4344. No, That's 629-4344, okay? So, like I say, we're going to talk to Chuck Creighton a little bit once he gets connected to us. And um, we're going to, he's, uh, he's the, my main man over there at Wellers in Bridgeville, okay? So, in other words, um, he's the manager. He keeps everything straight, all right? And um, I don't want to say it, but sometimes um, you almost feel like you're babysitting everybody over there, but not really. It's just, um, it's a busy place. Our Chuck, are you there? I'm here. Chuck had a big disappointment happen this week, didn't you? Yeah. We had a gentleman on Monday. Um, no, it wasn't Monday. It was Tuesday, wasn't it? Tuesday, yes, sir. Yep. We finally are getting busy. We've been all winter long, and we had somebody just quit right in the middle of the day. No notice, no nothing. You know what I mean? And we're like, mm -hmm. who does that? You know what I'm saying? Like, who, who, who does that nowadays? But anyway, um, it's just, it's just sad. But that's created a great opportunity for somebody new to come along. Correct. We're looking here. We're looking for somebody to fill that position. Um, it's a, it's a lot. Position, maintenance, the biggest part of the job is you know prepping trailers and, and getting trailers ready for sale. Right. No, no welding or nothing. For other things. Right. No, no welding. Really. There's, there's some opportunity for some small, um, you know, trailer repair and stuff. Like when, when George gets a little busy out there, we need some help. You can do some minor trailer repair. Or even when he's on vacation or when he's out sick or something, we always still have jobs to do. So we have some opportunity to do some mechanical work in the shop on trailers, um, lot maintenance of uh, grass cutting. Being able to drive a forklift, drive a tractor, um, and we'll teach uh, you. Just a chance. We'll to, teach you. Yeah, we'll teach you anything you need to know. But it's just an opportunity to join Team Wellers and uh, become a ever-growing, getting bigger every day uh, business here. Right. So if you don't know a whole lot, it's okay. We're looking for somebody that's got a good attitude, willing to work, rain or shine. It's all outside. Um, you got to put tires and wheels on trailers when they come in. If it's got ramps or a ramp gate, you put them where they go. Then you park it where it goes with the tractor. So, um, But, again, we will teach you. But if you're mechanically inclined, that's a big plus, okay? And um, that's a big, that's, yeah. what do you want you them to do? To Just apply in that's person? The thing is, okay, yeah, come on in the store. Um, yeah, gas for me or, or Mike, and we can uh, get you an application. And uh, we'll sit down with you right then when you fill the application out, and we'll talk and see what your qualifications are and if it's something that works for both of us. Yeah. All right. So what are the store hours? We're here Tuesday through Friday, 9 to 5, and Saturday we're here 8 to 2. Okay. So come in, walk right in through the door, and, and say, see hey, myself, Chuck, or hire Mike, me. And say, hey, I'm, I'm the man for the job, and we'll fix you right up. Yeah. Put you right to work. Yeah. Because <laughs> we lost a really good person, and um, it was just heartbreaking how it went. That's all. Right, right. I, I was talking to the team the other day. I said, you know, he was a blessing for 
for seven months. We had him when he's here. He was great. And uh, now it's time to move on to something else. Right, 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 right. All right, what else is going on at Weller's? Well, today is the day to buy a trailer. It's the last day of our big sale. Oh, it's yeah. It's the best price you're going to find all year long on trailers because I know they are 100% going up on Tuesday. So if you're looking for a, a, a landscape trailer, it's anywhere from a, a 5 by 8 on as big as a 16 or 18 foot landscaper. We've got them on sale today, and it's the best price you're going to find. And yes. So, the one trailer we're selling a lot of is uh, the $899 5 by 8 landscape trailer. Today is the last day at that trailer. Today's the last day you'll get that trailer at that price. So, and then we've got plenty of them ready to go. Um, it's a perfect little homeowner trailer, a little 5 by 8 wire mesh floor, 12-inch tires, 2,000-pound GVW. Um, like I said, it's a perfect little trailer for, for Johnny Homeowner to keep around the house to take trash to the dump, uh, haul your little lawnmower or ATV or something. Right. Nice little trailer. Perfect little general use trailer. Yep. Handy, handy. It's small enough. You could even pull it behind your four-wheeler if you wanted to. Absolutely. If you're going deer hunting, you got a deer, you want to pull it out of the woods, throw it on there, hook it to your, your quad, and pull it right on out. Wow. What else do I need to know, Chuck? Um, well, we're here all day. We've got the full staff. Um, if you come in today to buy a trailer, give us about an hour of your time. Okay. And uh, we will get you in and out as quickly as possible. I think I'm going to have a busy day, so it, it, I say an hour, but it might take a little longer because I think we're going to have several several trailers go out at one time today. So come on by and see the busy hustle bustle that the Weller team provides every day. <laughs> you know, right. we'll take good care of you. So and it's not always an hour. So I'm just letting you know that you know, um, just come on in and see what it's at, and uh, we'll wait on we'll wait on you as quick as anybody else can. We can say right, that absolutely, and. Uh, and we're going to give you the best service. I guarantee it's the best service you'll ever going to have at a, a trailer buying experience. Yeah, we have really good sales team. George is our shop it guy. Is. He does a great job. Yeah. You got Sharon and Penny and Kim in the middle. And uh, we're just fortunate. Right. We got a good, good group of people. So we need one more person to join us, right? One more person, and it'll make it a really complete team. Oh, there is another thing. Any... What about okay. the uh, other salesperson you want? We are looking for a bilingual salesperson, if, if we can find one. Um, our sales team is good and, and well, well well supplied, but we have a, a lot of the Hispanic community comes in, and uh, none of us can actually speak Spanish. So we find that that be a little bit of a barrier sometimes. Yes. So we are looking for somebody that can speak uh, with the Spanish crowd and uh, help us uh, serve those people as well. All right. Apply in person, whether you want to be a salesperson or help us out on the lot, correct? Yeah, just come on in. If you're looking for a job, come on in. We'll talk to you and see if you qualify for what we need and see if it works for both of us. Okay. Well, Chuck, you take care. Have a good weekend. And uh, thanks for all you do for me. Chuck's the main man there. He's the manager of the store, and he'll take good care of you. Absolutely. Thank you, Jim. Okay. See ya. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. All right. Now, so that was Chuck on the phone. I believe we got somebody else on the phone line. So, um, caller, are you there? I sure am. Good morning, Jim. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, this is Chris. I'm calling you from Rehoboth Beach. Okay. Hey, Jim, I just wanted to give you a shout-out. Um, I had purchased a shed from Wellers. Started shopping back in early March. Okay. I moved into a, I moved into a mobile home community in Rehoboth Beach. And, uh, of course, my home is kind of small. And I needed additional storage. Okay. So I was I was in the market for a nice eight by ten shed. Okay. And I, a gentleman named Mike, I think you guys call him the Sandman. Yep. Uh, he helped me through the process step by step. Um, I told him exactly what I could afford, exactly what I needed, and he hit it spot on for me. No doubt, it's not his I first day the, on the I, job. That's for sure. I can yeah. tell. And yeah. the young man who delivered it this past Thursday, uh, Caleb. Wow. Unbelievable service. Just phenomenal. Wow. I can't, so you, I can't say enough. You ordered it in March and got it in April? I ordered it probably back. I got it in the early part of March, if I was going to say. Golly day, that's I, I, quick. I, um, yeah, I remember when it took almost eight months to get a shed. That's amazing. Is that? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, but we. Uh, Jim, 
I'm I'm glad. I'm, sorry, it, go ahead. I'm just glad it went that good. That's great. I'm I'm happy for you, and I thank you for well, calling. Well, normally normally I don't call in. And I'm not a big Facebook guy, but okay. I just want to give those two guys a shout out, both the Sandman and uh, and Caleb. All right. Normal customer service. Well, thank you. How did you hear two. about us? How did you hear about Wellers? Oh, well, I used to live uh, on that side of the uh, state over in Laurel. And I used to live in Bridgeville, too. And I just retired uh, back in February, and I wanted to get back to the beach. Okay. And okay. That's, how, that's how I wound up over here. But I'm very familiar with Wellers. Okay. Always okay. driven by it over the years. And uh, you know what? Lo and behold, I actually needed uh, something from Wellers, Yeah. surprisingly. Well, thank you very much, so, okay? Yeah, and I wanted to call and just give that shout-out. Thanks again, Jim. All right. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye now. Bye. All right. All right. Is that, are we ready for the next caller? Hello? Hello? Yes. Um, is this yes. You? Yes. And who am I talking to? This is Candace Ruppel from the American Legion Post 28. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing well. Good. Tell us I what you got going on. Okay. Well, I do appreciate you giving me the opportunity to share this. On April 27th, from 12 to 4, at the American Legion Post 28, we're going to be hosting our first annual American Legion Family Day, Stand for the Flag, Kneel for the Falling. Okay. Um, our purpose is to bring veterans organizations, those who serve our, serve our community and other members of the community together, to celebrate our patriotism and our love for the flag. This will also be an opportunity for some people to find out in the public what the American Legion is all about. So what we're doing is we're encouraging everyone to park their vehicles on the lawn displaying their American flag. Okay. This is a family-oriented event. There'll be free food and entertainment with beverages for purchase. We'll have fire truck rides, patriotic activities for the kids, and much more. Sure. There's no charge to get in. Uh, what we're going to do to start off the event is the Legion Riders will kick off the ceremony with a motorcycle entry. There'll be no charge, excuse me, um, if anybody would like to join the ride, um, what they're going to do is they're going to stage at the Liberty Gas Station down the street by the Indian Museum at 12 o'clock. Their kickstands will be up at 1225. Um, while they're on the site, um, we're, while the guests are on the site, we're going to say, please don't bring any coolers. Um, again, that date is April 27th from 12 to 4 at the American Legion Post 28. All right. Well, then, thank you very much for calling in. It sounds like a wonderful family oriented event and everybody mark their calendar saturday april 27th 12 to 4 the american legion family day correct yes sir thank you so much jim all right take care and i hope to see everybody there okay thank you you as well see you bye-bye bye Bye. all right there we go so sounds like a great event sounds like a great event so mark your calendar there's a lot going on on the 27th all over our community. All right, LNW Insurance Agency. Let's brag on them. I talk to them all the time. Just talked to them yesterday. I'm buying another house, and I wanted to get some insurance on it, and they got me all taken care of. So if you need insurance, whether it's homeowner's insurance, motorcycle, jet ski, for your business, liability, any type of insurance, okay? Health insurance, um, billboard insurance, media insurance, um, whatever. So whether you own a business, whether you're renting an apartment and you need renter's insurance, whatever type of insurance you want to talk about, they are the insurance experts. I've been dealing with them for a long time. They have an office in Ocean View. They have one in Dover, and they have one up in Greenville. Uh, you can reach them on the phone at 302-856-7828. That's 856-7828. It's lwinsurance.com. Um, it's lwinsurance.com on the web, of course. Very active on Facebook. So uh, you can check them out there, too. They're very active there. So if you need insurance, you want to talk about insurance, you're not sure if you're properly insured, there's nothing worse than going online, getting a real good deal on insurance, and then the day you need it, you find out, uh-oh, that's why it was cheaper than somebody else because something's missing. Okay? So anyway, if you want to talk to a real insurance agent, that's a real person that lives in the community you live in, in the state that you live in. It's LNW Insurance Agency. Phone number 302-856-7828 and tell them Jim Weller sent you. All right, what else is going on? Hey, you know what's going on today? 
a big auction. Route 113 in Lincoln City, Delaware. Wilson's auction. Hundreds, if not thousands of things are going to be sold today. It starts at 10 o'clock this morning. They've been in business over 50 years now. Dave Wilson and his team will get things sold. So if you're visiting and you've never been to a Wilson's auction, auction. It's feisty. It's a lot of fun. It's free parking. There's no charge to get in. And it's Wilson's auction on Route 113 in Lincoln. You will find glassware, jewelry, coins, uh, furniture, appliances, uh, exercise equipment, lawnmowers, rakes, shovels, shelves, tools, all kinds of stuff. Hundreds, if not thousands of things. Multiple auctioneers going at one time. It's Wilson's auction every Saturday starting at 10. Every Tuesday night starting at 6, they have an auto auction. You can buy or sell just like the dealer does. So anyway, any questions, go to wilsonsauction.com and look at the pictures of everything that's going to be sold today. And then, of course, if you ever have anything you want to sell, Wilson's, you can drop it off Wednesday through Friday, and they will put it out and get it sold for you. All right. Um, I mentioned that we're looking for a new home for the show, a new home for the show. So if you own a restaurant and you say, well, I'd like to have this at my restaurant. We will come to you. We will set up. We bring all the equipment. You have to furnish us with some electricity and high-speed Internet, okay? Uh, you get like 30 radio ads on TV Delmarva every week, not a month, every week. And then we're on two separate radio stations. You get 30 ads per week on both radio stations, okay? And then um, we do it live. We have an ad on an electronic billboard promoting the show. Uh, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of publicity associated. And then we do the show. And then the show is live on two radio stations. It's on Facebook. It's on YouTube. And um, it's on TV Delmarva. Then it's captured. So if you were to go on Facebook and look at our previous shows, they have like anywhere from two to 5,000 views. And that's just the Facebook side of things. And then you've got YouTube, and then you've also got TV Delmarva. So you're on two radio stations, four or five Facebook pages, YouTube and TV Delmarva, all for one money, okay? And then we do the show live at your business. So if you have any questions, it's a 13-week commitment, and it's a very, very, very good way to get your business seen, heard, and known. I don't know how many people are here today, but there's an average of 30, 40 people come in on a Saturday morning. Some come, some go, some hang out all morning. So we're going to bring a crowd. We're going to have a good time. If you want to hire me, let me know. We're here till May 18th, and then we're looking for a new home, okay? All right, so that's that. Call me right on my cell phone about that if you want all the details. It's 302-542-9157, 302 542 Nine one five seven. Okay, is it time to take some phone calls? Rapid fire, folks. One right after another. Okay, we're going to give away some Vanderwins gift cards. We're going to give you two gift cards to Vanderwins. All right, two Vanderwins gift cards for free. Call me right now. One call right after another. I'm going to put your name on the list. Put your name on the list. You pick them up at Wellers in Bridgeville next week, Tuesday through Saturday. Two gift cards to Vanderwins. Call now, 302-422-7336. 302-422-7336. Just one after another. Call as quick as you can. We'll get your name on the list. You can pick up two gift cards at Vanderwins in uh, – no, you pick them up at Wellers in Bridgeville. Four Vanderwins in Greenwood or, or Dewey or Fenwick or um, out on 404. So they got four locations. Anyway, so that is Vanderwind's ice cream. We're giving away two gift cards for free to every person that calls right now. And I'll put your name on the list. You pick them up at Weller's in Bridgeville next week, Tuesday through Saturday. All right? And thank you to Vanderwind's for um, supporting the show. If you like ice cream, you want ice cream, check out Vanderwind's uh, local homemade ice cream and uh, four locations. And they even have a truck you can hire to come to your event. If you want to do something like that, 302-422-7336. Phone lines are wide open. Just one call after another. We'll take them as quick as we can, okay? All right, caller, are you there? Yes, I am. And who am I talking to? Uh, Tom Wagner. Tom. 
All right. I'm just going to put down Tom. You call him for the gift cards? Yes, sir. You know where Weller's is? Yes, I do. All right. Well, they'll be sitting there for you next week, Tuesday through Saturday. Okay, Tom? Thank you very much. Thank you, Tom. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Got another caller. Caller, are you there? Yes. Hey, how you doing? Good. How you doing, Jim? Good. Who am I talking to? Uh, Brent Stook from Milford, Delaware. All right. Did you say Brent? Yeah. B-R-E-N-T? Uh-huh. All right. You calling for the gift cards? Yes, I am, sir. All right. They'll be waiting for you at Weller's next week, okay? All right. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Brent. Bye-bye. All right, next caller. Caller, are you there? Hello, hello, hello. We're trying to move through them as quick as we can. Caller, are you there? All right, well, phone lines are wide open. 302-422-7336. Call me now. Get your name on the list. You get two gift cards to Vanderwins for free, for free, for free. Linda Price is coming on after 8 o'clock. Um, uh, lots of things happening here. You can hear a lot of chatter in the background and again if you own a business and would like us to do this show at your business live we're looking for a new home to start on may 25th uh was there another call okay all right so with all that said i want to say one more thing about another good sponsor a great sponsor and uh if you ever want to be on the show or want to be a sponsor or want to advertise hey i got the audience uh we cover a lot of different platforms I don't think anybody's offering what I'm offering. So anyway, um, in fact, I know they're not. So anyway, if you want to get in on this. Community-minded family, the Fitzgerald family, and we say thank you to them for all they do for our community. But you know what? If you got an old car battery laying around and you want to sell it, they literally buy it off of you. Okay? Any kind of junk metal, scrap metal, anything laying around the yard, or if you own a business and you got a lot of scrap metal, they'll bring you a roll off if you want, if you got a lot of it. So anyway, they buy scrap metal. They buy junk cars. Got an old car out there, weeds growing up through the floorboards. You want to get rid of it? They'll come get that. So anyway, if you have any questions, sell they sell auto parts okay so like any part that you might need for your car they may have it they'll sell it to you if you need a motor or a transmission or a fender or a hood or something like that they sell car parts they also sell crushed concrete you can learn a lot about them at their website or their facebook page it's fitzgerald's anyway they've been around a long time over 80 years and we say thank you to the fitzgerald community and remember they do recycle cars but only jesus recycles people all right now with that said i don't know if no more callers all right so we gave away some gift cards we appreciate the people that did call in and we thank we thank vanderwins for you know supporting us and sponsoring us and uh, uh furnishing us with gift cards to give away how nice is that all right we give them away every every week so if you want a couple of them you got to call me now 422 7336 302 422 7336. It's that simple. Easy peasy call, and we'll get you right on right away. 302 422 7336. All right, so with that said, we got uh, a break coming up at 8 o'clock. The break is with my fine day radio. It's really with it's with Delaware 1059. In other words, so we are on two radio stations, top and the bottom of the hour. We stop on 105.9 for a break, but we don't break. So if you want to switch over to Jim Weller's Facebook page, we will gladly continue to entertain you, okay? So, and then we'll be right back on Delaware 105.9 in a couple minutes after we take the break. So we just take a break at the top of the hour and the bottom of the hour, and we just don't want you, my audience, to miss anything. We might give something away. It's hard to say what's going to happen. So... Anyway, that's that. So we're going to take a break here in just a moment from Delaware 105.9. But the show doesn't stop. And we'll be back in a few minutes on the Delaware 105.9 audience. All right. So I hear the music. We're taking a break. Thank you for all the phone calls. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. So we're here. We're continuing on. Where are we? People say it's noisy. It's not noisy. It's just good networking going on. 
Everybody's making friends. New people are getting to know people. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right. Did you see Linda Price has showed up? I saw Linda Price over there. Yep. You know when I saw her? When she I came I in. hi to her. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. All right. So, Colin, how are you holding up? I'm good. How are you? Been a challenging morning. Hey, you hear morning. the speaker working now? I know. What happened? I got it, I got it to work. You got it to work. I got it to work. You yep. bribed it. Yep. You had to swipe a credit card down the side <laughs> of it. <laughs> when did you install that? <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Oh, but anyway. Look at all the people pulling in. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, it is. Unbelievable. Sunrise Restaurants, where we're at. Come have some food with us. So, the Dewey Beach, Delaware. So, uh, if you're on the New Jersey side, and you're headed over here today to Delaware. Then, oh, uh, man. Definitely stop in before 2 o'clock here at the Sunrise Restaurant. Are they open on Saturday nights, too, now? Yeah, man. Friday and Saturday. So, what time do they open? They open at 9. 9 at p.m. 9 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. So like 3 a.m. Yes. And what a great idea if you are working late. Right. If you work somewhere else and you get off work and you say, I'm hungry. Or you just wake up at midnight with a craving. Okay? I recommend the burger. Cheese the burger. is good, yeah. Yep. forgot that again. You forgot it? I did, yeah. You want to go. Yeah, I ought to do that. Get one to go. You're yeah. going to like it. You're going to okay. like it. I know you're a cheeseburger fan. I am. Fan, so, I am. Uh, I am. Have you been to the place that I got you the gift certificate? I have not yet. yet. Oh, get there before it gets busy. Oh, you're right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah we were planning Second that. Second Street. We were Lewis, making that a special event. Yeah. Okay. Parking. Parking. Now that's a premium down there. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. All right. We'll we'll be all right. We'll figure yeah. something so out. Park at five points and walk in. <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend closer than that. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Park oh his house. man. He'll shuttle oh, you over. He'll shuttle me over. He might even yeah. join you for dinner. You know what? That's right. That's a good idea. There yeah, that go. is a good idea. Yeah. Right. Not big on finger food, but um. What's that? He's not big on anything he holds with his hands. Oh, well, they have finger other things. Finger food. Right. It's not just burgers. They've got everything. There. But I'm ready for the burger. You talked me yeah, into you're it. Yeah, you're going to like we it. We may go there this afternoon, Denise. Yeah. It's in Lewis. Yeah. Yes, because we're going there Second tonight. Street. You like Second Street? Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. We'll find yeah. a good parking place. Anybody that's listening that has not been to Second Street in Lewis, or just Lewis itself, but Second Street is just a, I don't know, a step back in time or just a, you know, it's just relaxing. When you're really? There. It is, yeah. Is that where the uh, it, Once you find the is? parking. Once the you find the parking, right, <laughs> right. But there is parking, okay, and you have to pay for it. Might not yet. Might, Might not, not yet. yet. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you have to pay for it yet. All right. You let me know if I have to pay for it. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. If you get it, because even if you don't pay for it and you get a ticket, you'll be paying for it anyway. Oh, I had that to happen down in Rehoboth. Oh, really? You got a yeah. ticket? Got a parking ticket? Yeah. No it was kidding. only thirty bucks though, but I got to park there as long as I want. I could have parked there all day for thirty dollars. Oh wow! So that wasn't a bad okay. Deal, I didn't think. Okay. Right, we're not encouraging it, but we're just no, saying no, this but is I, how it I, worked. We actually thought the meters were done for the year. And oh, and so, they weren't. And they weren't, yeah. So okay. they let us know they weren't. They, they were. Gotta, yeah. How would you know, though? Is each meter got a sign on it? Uh, how would a person know if the meters well, were they active put or not? bags on some of them, I think. Yeah, but what if it's somebody sometimes. comes along and pulls the bag off? Right, I know, yeah. Okay. I don't know. All right, just checking. All right, so Thursday night's our big night. It's our debut. Snooky and Pat. You should come join us Thursday night. We're going to be at West Side Restaurant in Milford. We're broadcasting live. It's going to be a meet and greet for a lot of candidates. So for people running for the Milford City Council and a new mayor and, or a person running to be the new mayor. So it's going to be free food. Little sliders. Okay? And we're going to be there. Okay? All right. And um, other than that, Thursday night is a meet and greet. For people running for the Milford City Council. And there may be people that are currently on the council. Everybody's welcome. Do you understand? So in other words, um, so whoever wants to come and chit-chat, we're going to squeeze you in is what we're going to try to do, okay? For the Milford City Council. Milford's got a lot going on. It's because it's growing. It's growing in leaps and bounds. New developments are coming. New businesses are coming. Things are happening. You ought to see the laundromat they're building downtown. Oh, yeah. with the, It's got to have apartments above it. It looks like they made the, the roof old, higher it's up. The old Eckerds. The old Eckerds. I remember that. Yeah. 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 So, um, but they made it taller. They, they made, made taller that building taller. Because it never had a second floor, I don't think. Okay. Remember when you walked in, it had the, the pharmacist's office was like up steps. Right, right. It was inside. It reminded me of a car there. lot where yeah. the manager's up high looking down at right. everybody. Yeah, looking at all the paperwork with the numbers. Right. Mm-hmm. Making sure you get the numbers right. Yep, that's right. Yep. 
So anyway, that's another neat thing in Milford. A lot of new roads are being put in. Um, I'll be glad when a, they're done. So yeah, right. the front of the front of our shop there at Wall Service Center has been torn up for I don't three know. Years. It seems like forever. Right. But you know, it right. might have only been three years. Right. And here's the good thing: if you see any road construction in Milford, you know, five years or less, it's going to be done. <laughs> okay. You it's, can get in, in and out of our shop uh, there. You know, with no problem. Right. So uh, I did have somebody explain to me the other day what the leadership of Milford could do. They could be bugging all their state representatives yeah. every day and getting them to call Del Dot every day. Yeah. I never thought about that. So, yeah. oh, my gosh, we're back on You're Delaware 105.9. Okay. Hallelujah. Right, Here we see. are. I'll be back one more time. Jack. One more time, okay. Colin Walls. Walls Service Center, downtown Milford. All right. So what's going on? We are sitting right inside the Sunrise Restaurant in Dewey Beach, Delaware. And we're here every Saturday till May 18th. And then after May 18th, we could be sitting inside your restaurant every Saturday morning or whatever you got. I think that the Georgetown Chamber of Commerce should hire us to broadcast every Saturday morning. Okay. It could be a big deal. Let's uh, take our picture oh, first. sorry. <laughs> then let me talk you into something. All right. I'll talk to you another time. But we are looking for a home. It's a very good investment. I need you to help us find a place that needs publicity. For Saturday? For Saturday morning. Not till May 18th is our last day here. Okay. Then the 25th, we need a place that's willing to pay us. Okay. But they can use a lot of publicity. Right. Okay? Okay. They get 90 ads a week to promote nice. it on two stations, radio, uh -huh. one TV station. Then there's ads on my billboard. Mm -hmm. Then there's a Facebook. It's a big it's a big lot deal. of stuff. It's, it's a, a big, big deal. deal. Okay? Yep. All right, Linda, Georgetown Chamber of <laughs> Commerce, uh, how was the Easter egg hunt last Saturday? It was really good. I heard you know, that despite people... Despite the fact that it was two weeks after Easter, it was oh, really good. And yeah. Revelation is just great to deal 6, with. 6,500 eggs. 6,500 eggs, and there was not one egg left in the field. Really? Really. Wow. <laughs> I've been in our yard where we found an egg a year later. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, we went out, like, scouting around, but there were, I mean, the kids wow. got every egg that was out there. So what's next? You guys have got stuff going on all uh, the time. Well, um, we have a, a joint career fair at um, Sussex Central High School on oh, the really? 17th. So we partnered with the Millsboro Chamber and the Bethany Fenwick Chamber. So if I was looking for another career to add to mine, you were looking for another career. That's the place to be. Really? Really? All right. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take my grandkids. Okay. Just so they can start thinking about, thinking about what jobs. they might want to do when they turn 15 or 17. Or that's a good idea. Whatever. It that's is. A good idea. Right. So that's gonna go off really well. And then the next day, this, the 18th, um, we partnered with the Department of Labor to do a job fair at Chile. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, um, hold on. Okay, it'll be a few minutes, but I'll get him. Oh, I got somebody on hold on the phone line. Okay, he didn't even know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so call her. I'll be with you in just a couple minutes. Yeah. All right, so anyway, so what? So we're right in the middle of all of that, and then now, right now, we're smack dab in the middle of wings and wheels planning. Yes, that's when? That is October 4th and 5th. Wow, yes. that's a big deal. That's that one's the big deal. That one's okay. the big deal. Talking airplanes on airplanes, display, car, car show, show food, vendors, craft, information vendors. It's like the stuff. most elite thing that happens in Georgetown it all is. year. It is. It's it quite really the is. who's who. Yeah, we bring a lot of people from a lot of different areas. It, you know, they 15, fly 15 in. Fifteen to eighteen thousand people. Really. Really. That you is bigger than the there, population. Yeah. That's bigger than the population of Lincoln. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, yep, so, so we have that the many people involved, and then we have the U.S. Naval Academy parachute team that comes. And really, yes. Last year we had the Corman's fleet come. Really, so we had five aircraft from Corman's. I might have my pilot's license by then. Ooh, that would be cool. That's right. I ordered it online. All right. So that's a cool. That one's a, a really cool event. And then we do on Friday we do a Pathways to Aviation program for high school kids. So we put them in front of all different types of aviation-related vendors, military, schools. What a great opportunity. Kind of it is. Kids love you know, it. Kids love right. it. Yeah. So is this a free event? This is a free event. We only charge $5 for parking. Really? Yes. And then you shuttle them. And then we shuttle them over to the airport. 
gosh. Yes. This is so a good it's, value. It's a great value. It really is. And, so, and the, the food vendors that we have out there and um, just a lot of entertainment. And to, you know, we do have a band that's coming. So okay. um, so it's, a, it's just a really fun time. You know, is their vendor spot still available? Um, they, I haven't. I'm getting ready to send out the application. Okay. So everything's available right now. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Yes. So if you want to vend at Wings and Wheels, get yes. ready. Go get to the ready. Chamber's website and learn Go about it. Go to the it. Chamber's website or they can email me at linda at georgetownsoc.com. How are you spelling Linda today? L-I-N-D-A. <laughs> okay. Just check it. Just want to make sure. So I was so glad to see you the other day at the ribbon cutting. Where was I? Oh, uh, yeah. That's at right. At the, the ribbon cutting. building. That's right. Yes. Yes. Great thing to I see. I bet you were I, surprised to see me there. I was. You don't come to ribbon cutting. I don't. Well, I try to keep a low profile. I'm so backwards and Well, you shy. were even a low profile that day, but you, it was great to have you I was you the out. track photographer that yes, day. Yes, you were. And you I said, I want these people and these people and... And yes. then, and then later on, they're like, "We're really glad you thought of all those different." Well, it was so, you know, families. That right. was such a big family event. So yes, that it was, was such a cool thing to see all of that. So. I was told that that family, uh, there was Jeff Corman's. Mm -hmm. So this is Jeff Corman and his John, cousin, John Jones. John Jones mm -hmm. built a uh, office building. Yes. Okay. And it was and really cool to see that when Jeff r responded to your posting that 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 space they've owned since 1890 that was really cool and then his mom was born in that and i think she was there. born over top of the um, jewelry store oh okay because they yeah. own that building too yes they do so but jeff told me that he could or i don't know if he can remember but his grandfather used to herd cattle in downtown georgetown oh my which gosh. really wasn't downtown georgetown i no. guess at that point no i've and seen some bat some pictures from back then. right not where, not cattle though well no but jeff said right where that building was there was cattle wow yeah that so was uh, i love hearing about history it's oh yeah in and around georgetown it's kind of cool mm -hmm. but his mom was there and his aunt was there yes. mm -hmm. it was really good what, what a nice addition to the town of Georgetown, this big building. It's a beautiful building. It is. You know? Did you go all through it? I didn't go all through it because oh. I got, I know, I have to go. You There's know? this big meeting room in there that's going to be for rent for if somebody needs it for a meeting or something. Yeah, John, and then upstairs John, is already John and I are on an economic development oh, really? group together, okay. so I get to hear a little bit of what he's got going on. Oh, they on. got lots going on. I know, I know. I know they're working on something else. Yeah. Um, so it's... They're just never, they never stop. Right. But I think Jeff's getting ready to start flying home from Florida from right Florida, now. From Florida, yeah. I saw yeah. I saw pictures of him. Um, like some people go to a car the, show. Tucked in for the night. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. then, so it was, it was really cool. So yeah. I'm so, excited to have them involved with Wings and Wheels. Last year was the first time that they were involved okay. with us. So it's really great to see them out there. Well, you might see me fly in there. Well, that would be kind of cool. I ain't flying. <laughs> I might fly in, but I don't know that I'm flying the plane. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm the backseat driver. Backseat driver. Right. You, so. get, you have to get in Scott's helicopter. Maybe yeah. that's it. Yeah, so it'll be good. Mm -hmm. Have you been up in the helicopter? I've not been in the helicopter. Do you want to? I probably would not say no to that. Okay. You I mean, I've been in the B-25. I've flown okay. in the B-25. So. That helicopter's different. It, well, and the front seat is totally different than the back seat. Well, I'm holding on to these little brackets up in the ceiling. I'm trying to stabilize myself. Well, when I got the ride in the B-25, they put me in the jump seat, which is uh -oh. right behind the pilots. Right. But what they do is you have to go up and then down. And then as they're pre-flight checking you, they're telling you, don't touch this. Don't touch that. Right. And of course, your natural inclination is to go to touch right that. for those things. Right. You know, and then you're, but I, I, at one point I said to the co-pilot, I said, I can't, I can't get in that seat. I can't, I couldn't get in there. She goes, you're going to get in that seat. And I'm so glad I did because it was the Why most couldn't perfect. you? You were nervous? I was nervous, but the way that it was angled, because, you know, it's not meant, it's meant for little people. It's not now, meant, Here's you know. where your mind should have went to. <laughs> How do I get out of the seat in a hurry? Well, out of the seat is easy. Oh, it's okay. It's harder to get in the seat, but okay. it, was, it was still, it was the most amazing experience and you're something up at the dover air force base i'm an honorary commander at, really at dover yes okay and i'm so excited because we just had the, yes, the base did. commander at our economic development lunch and he will be back on the 24th to have breakfast okay. with us um and then my commander who is from the aerial port squadron will also be there really yes so, so you're bringing all these people to Sussex County well you know it's really interesting and um, when we did the economic development lunch Kate Rohr who works for Senator Coons okay. was there 
and she got really emotional when she was talking to him and she said, I've worked with base commanders for 25 years and this is the first time a base commander came to Sussex County. Wow. And she was, she just really got very emotional about it. And he just loved it. You know, he's kind of dug in. He, I thought it was the first time coming to Sussex, but he's been to Trap Pond and he's okay. you know, been to um, Cape Henlopen State Park. Is Chris so. Coons a senator or a congressman? He's a senator. Okay. Yes. What's Tom Carver? What's who? What's Tom Carver? He's a senator. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, who's our congressman? Uh, Lisa Blunt Rochester. You're right. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. I got <laughs> well, it now. You're testing me. Well, I wasn't sure. I just wanted <laughs> and to... Lisa's running for Tom Carper's Senate seat. Okay. So right. lots, lots of things happening in there this are. Senate. Are you going to run for anything political? No, 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 no. Are you sure? I don't want to be a politician. Okay. How's your dog doing? My dog is great. He's out in the car. <laughs> is he blowing the He's over the there. He's over there. Okay. Okay. But he's great. Well, he's real. I mean, he's wonderful. He's All got right. such great personality. I really? just really lucked out with him. Yeah. Okay. And he probably lucked out with you. I I certainly hope okay. so. All right. Anything else I need to know? No. Well, we're working on. Uh, we were at a Delaware Association of Chamber meetings yesterday, and we have a lot of legislation that's coming down. So oh, really? we're going to be meeting with um, Senator Pettijohn and okay. Representative um, Giltner. Okay. And we're going to be talking because there's a lot of things that are coming down to affect small businesses. So. We're going to... What are we looking at? Uh, just... Don't even tell me. I don't, I don't even want to no, know. No, it's, it's... I don't even want to know. I'll deal well, with it when it gets le- here. You've got a legislation, um, some new legislators that are in there that are freshmen and are not liking business. Oh, no doubt. And they want to make it very, very difficult, very costly for businesses uh-huh. to be here. So, okay. so one, of the fir- one of the main things is that takes place... It's effective. It's got to be done by December 31st. Is any business, any business, whether you're an LLC, a PA, a incorporated, before you only had to disclose five percent, five percent owners. Now you have to disclose anybody that has any ownership in your company. No, it's a fifteen percent before. Yes. Wow. And it doesn't. This is the IRS and um, God. I can't think of the other agency that okay. are looking for people that are defrauding the government. Wow. So they want to know who the people are that are involved. Okay. And you have to have it done by December 31st. And if you don't, it's a $500 a day fine. A day. So what's $500 a day times 365? <laughs> that sounds like um, $165,000. Yeah. It's think definitely so. like Big Brother's watching you now. They really no doubt. need to know. Who well, you know what? I'll be all right. I'm going to be all right, too. I don't right. have any ownership, so. <laughs> right. They do not provide my rise and fall. All right. So. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to let you go if that's right. okay. That's fine. I want you to get your money's worth out of being associated with us. Oh, trust me. I'm getting my money's worth. Okay. We thank you so much for the right. time that you give us. And we are amazing, aren't we? You are amazing. It's unbelievable. And I'm telling you, the fine day radio spots, right. our members are loving. Absolutely okay. loving. Okay. So. All right. We'll try not to mention that again. Oh, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I forget. I can't That's read some right. certain you things. You just on can't control places. yourself. <laughs> I'm all trying right. to do good things. <laughs> I, I know. Well, thank you so much. Okay. We really, uh, always appreciate you. Yeah, we're not on uh, YouTube this week. We got a strike against us. Oh, okay. Well, for well. doing something. So anyway, every <laughs> well, you talk about Big Brother, everything is watching this show. I, I'm telling you. Well, yeah, you, you're, no you're making some enemies. So. I guess. Well. <laughs> You know what you can do with any 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 enemy? What's that? Eventually, you can win them over. I think you can. I whittle them down. Uh, well, I have no doubt. I'm like a guy that's got a puzzle, and none of the pieces fit, but I keep pushing on them long enough, and before long, I've made a puzzle. But you do it in a great way. You in know? a kind of a great yes. way. Yes. Mm-hmm. But I do whittle everybody down eventually. <laughs> okay. Well, All thanks right. again. All right. I'll see you. Bye bye. All right, now, Jerry's Lawn and Tree Care. All right, this is a, oh, we have a caller on the phone all that time. Oh, my God. Caller, are you still there? Maybe he'll call right back. Oh, my gosh, you waited all that time? Okay. All right, how are you? And um, it's Rick from Harrington. And how are you doing, Rick? Well, good. Are you calling about anything in particular?
Oh, okay. No, I got a good guy. Yep. Now, are you dealing with varmints like raccoons? Or are you talking like spiders and ants and crickets? Oh. Yep. I, I don't think he does mosquito treatment, but I do have a guy. His name is Keith Ruark. I've dealt with him for years. I've got many properties, and he does many of them. So it's called Integrity Pest Solutions. He's an owner-operator. When you call, you're going to either get him or his voicemail. He'll be the one that deals with you. He'll be the one that deals with you every time. You'll really like him. He's very detail-oriented, very fair on pricing, and he knows what he's doing. And he knows what he doesn't do. So, all right, integrity. Yep. You want his number? Okay. Look it up. Integrity Pest Solutions, okay? Well, Rick, thanks for calling and hanging on, okay? All right, see ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, there you go. Good, good guy. We deal with him at the house. We're very happy with him all the way around. All right. With that said, Jerry's Lawn and Tree Care. This is Jerry Santoro. So if you need some lawnscape, lawnscape, landscaping done, if you need your grass cut, if you need your yard reseeded, if you need it rototillered and reseeded, if you need a tree cut down, if you need a stump ground up, if you need to rent a bucket truck, if you just uh, don't know who's going to cut your grass, or you're sick of cutting grass, you give Jerry a call. He also does lot clearing. He does tree work. He sells firewood. He sells mulch. His name is Jerry Santoro. It's Jerry's Lawn and Tree Care. What is his phone number? It's 302-363-6025. That's 302-363-6025. It's JLC. Dash LLC dot com. Jerry's Lawn and Tree Care. He'll do you a good job. He'll take good care of you. Tell him I sent you. He also does pavers. He does irrigation systems. He does it all. Hey, Chick-fil-A. People hear me talk about Chick-fil-A every week and they're like, man, you really do like Chick-fil-A. I do like Chick-fil-A. Whether you're getting breakfast, lunch, dinner, they got salads. They've got ice cream. They've got milkshakes. They have got little chicken nuggets. They have got um, chicken sandwiches. They've got a little bit of everything, just a little bit of everything. Uh, they've got gift cards, too. So if you want anything from Chick-fil-A, they got really good macaroni and cheese. It's breakfast, whether it's lunch, whether it's dinner, no matter how long the line, it moves quick. They do a good job. Chick-fil-A, many locations. They're all over the place. And we say thank you to Chick-fil-A for sponsoring Weller Does Del Marva. So we're going to open up the phone lines, and we're going to give you two gift cards to Chick-fil-A. Two. We're going to do it as fast as you can call on the phone. It's 302-422-7336, 422-7336. Two Chick-fil-A gift cards. You get them for free. You got to pick them up at Weller's in Bridgeville next week. Tuesday through Saturday. We'll have them set aside with your name on them. So call me now if you want two gift cards to Chick-fil-A. 302-422-7336. All right. In the meantime, I'm going to talk real quick about another sponsor. This is um, Ryan Brower, Top Flight Heating and Air. You hear me talk about him every week. The weather's changing. You're going to be turning on the air conditioner soon. You want to make sure you got that thing serviced. It's up to, you know, running as efficiently as it can, using the least amount of energy as possible. They have a tune-up special. Now, it ends on the 15th, so you got to get calling them or scheduling it today, okay? Because today, I can't remember the date, sounds like the 13th. So you got to get this done. So if you have any questions, you can give them a call, or you can simply go to calltopflight.com and schedule this tune-up special for $99. They're going to come out, tune up your air conditioner, make sure it's working right, make sure everything's in tip-top condition, okay? So any questions, you can call them on the phone. It's 302-329-8003, 329 
888-8003 or go to calltopflight.com and you can schedule your appointment right there. They install new systems. They do the ductless system. They also sell tankless hot water heaters. They do a lot of different things. So if you have any questions at all for Top Flight, you can give them a call. Or again, you can go to their Facebook. Well, yeah, that's right. You can go to their Facebook page too and learn a lot there. And, but you can schedule at just by going to calltopflight.com. All right. So with that said, the $99 special ends on April 15th, 2024. So that's soon. So get up and get scheduled right now to have your air conditioner serviced for only $99. All right. Now, Wellers is open. They tell me we're busy already. I knew we would be. We do have a help wanted position there. We're looking for a lot person to help put trailers together. Oh, we got phone calls. I did not know that. All right. Caller, are you there? One right after the other. Caller, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Calling about the Chick-fil-A gift cards? Yes, sir. All right. Your name? Gretchen Wharton. How do you spell Gretchen? G-R-E-T-C-H-E-N. All right. Wharton, is, is that what you said? Yep. Yes, sir. Are you related to Josh Wharton? Yes. How are you related to him? Uh, he is my husband's cousin. He's trouble, you know. <laughs> He's a good guy. He's a good guy. You're right. All right. Gretchen <laughs> Wharton, correct? Yes. All right. Two, two gift cards to Chick-fil-A, right? Yes. Are you okay with that? Thank you. Uh, that's wonderful. All right, pick them up next week at Weller's, Wednesday through Saturday. Okay, sounds good. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. All right, caller, are you there? Yes, I am. And what is your name? I am Brenda from Bridgeville. Brenda. Brenda. Frazier. All right. So, Brenda, are you up for a couple gift cards to Chick fil A? I am. Oh. I love Chick fil A. Well, they'll be waiting for you at Weller's, okay? Yes, indeed. Thank Next you. Next week. Okay, see you, Brenda. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. All right, who am I talking to? Wayne English. Wayne, how you doing? Pretty good, buddy, watching you, making oh. my Saturday morning. Well, thank you. Are you calling for a couple gift cards? Yes, sir. All right, I'll have them ready for you next week at Weller's, okay? All right, sounds like a winner. Thank you, Wayne. Take care. Uh -huh. Bye. Caller, are you there? I certainly am. And who am I talking to? He's talking to Jim Compton. My wife used to cut your hair before she passed away. Oh, Jim. I do remember Linda well. Um, how you been, buddy? I'm well. I'm well. All right. It's, you... it's nice listening to you on the radio this morning. Well, thank you. Um, are you up for a couple gift cards to Chick-fil-A? I certainly am. I certainly okay. am. Thank they'll, you so much. They'll be waiting for you next week at Weller's, okay? Don't come Monday, Tuesday. All right. Okay, see you, All Jim. Right, thank you so much. All right, have a good weekend. All right, caller, are you there? Yes, I am. And who am I talking to? Rick Bosling from Ocean View. Hey, Rick, how you doing? Pretty good. Good. You ready for a couple gift cards? Yes, I appreciate it. All right, they'll be waiting for you Tuesday through Saturday next week at Weller's, okay? Got it. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. All right, any more, caller? Yeah. And who am I I'm talking here. to? Who is it? Lou from, Bridge, Lou from Bridgeville. How you doing, Lou? Oh, pretty good, you? Good. All right. I'll set you a couple gift cards to Chick-fil-A aside right. at Weller's. Thank you. Okay. See you, Lou. All right. Bye. Can you give me more volume? All right. Caller, are you there? Oh, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six callers. Thank you, Lawrence. And uh, we're going to take a break from the radio, and we'll be right back in a few minutes. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. That was pretty good. Six calls right in a row. Boom, boom, boom. All right, what else is going on? We're sitting here. My voice, I'm losing my voice. Take a mint. Some water, yeah, good idea. I'll wait till Colin starts talking. Hey, yeah. Well, uh, Sue, there's a lady named Sue watching. Sue asking, uh, I was going to reply to her on uh, Facebook. She's watching us there. She's asking, can I get this on Comcast? We are not on Comcast, unfortunately. TV Delmarva is not. Uh, if you have an antenna, you can get us over the air. Point your antenna towards Seaford. Rescan, look for Channel 14. You're going to see 
seven, eight channels come up actually now. Um, but if you don't have that, uh, you uh, can, if you have a Roku device, which a That's lot of people thing. have, Roku, search for TV Delmarva channel on Roku, and uh, you'll see all the channels there, and it'll be the channel 14.1 TV Delmarva there. We've got seven channels on that as well. So, uh, yeah, those are ways you can watch us, Sue. It's a so big thank bang you. for the buck. We appreciate you asking. And uh, and someday it's our dream to be on Comcast. To be on Comcast and Mediacom, Mediacom and uh, Fios and all that stuff. Everywhere. So, yeah. Yep. Uh, I heard Wayne called. Wayne called. He is a Facebook watcher, and he asked a question this morning. He noticed he's a very uh, perceptive watcher. He noticed that we have new – he thought there were new mics. I said they're mic stands. They're the same mics. These are the RE20, which is the broadcast standard, the gold standard yes. for radio broadcasting. The but I've not got as much to fiddle with, Wayne. You don't, know, Right. No. I used to tighten no. these things up and everything. That's why, that's why your granddaughter plays the fiddle, because mm -hmm. you fiddle with stuff. So right, I fiddle with stuff. Good job, Wayne. He's paying attention. He is paying attention. Yeah, that's, Wayne, that's one more perceptive. thing. I've grown a little hair since last week. <laughs> yeah. It's one little hair up there somewhere. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, anyway, uh, yeah, how's things going up here, Jim? I, I saw Linda Price was on, so she does mm -hmm. a fantastic job for us in Georgetown. TV Del Marva's in Georgetown. We are a member of the chamber, and uh, we love working with Linda. So it's Fine Day Radio. So it's Fine Day Radio. That's right. Yep. Yeah. And we love working with Linda Price. She does a fantastic job. We're... Uh, and she yep. loves Fine Day Radio. She does. Yep. She does. I don't know if uh, the other radio station likes us as much anymore now. but Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope nobody's listening. But I see those two, it's good that those two are getting together there. Mm -hmm. I think there can be some good ideas exchanged between the two of them over there. Yep. So this is the networking that we're talking about, Jim. Mm -hmm. When we say this is a networking opportunity, it really is. So we brought two... Uh, Chamber uh, people. Yeah, not ch one's less. chamber, right. one's a DMI, but they're both right. civic organizations. And, uh, yeah, so brought them together. This is your networking opportunity right here. And right here. Wednesdays, we have another networking opportunity. I forgot all about it. Wednesdays. And that's, that's what Linda was referring to earlier. So we have a segment that the chamber uh, sponsors. That's right. And they, uh, they get that first segment on Wednesdays. Jim at, Weller Live. Yep, Jim Weller Live. It's one of the – so one – I guess she's – put out there to the members of the Georgetown Chamber of Commerce. This is something for you right here. If you want a radio spot, for free. join the chamber, you're going to get all the benefits right. of the chamber, plus you're going to get, you know, occasionally you're going to get a radio spot, and then you can see what Fine Day Radio is all about. Yep. But they do this spot. We're live on location That's at it. the Golden Eagle Diner. In Seaford. Seaford, Delaware. Golden Eagle Diner. Seaford is growing, so... Uh, uh, it's a it's a great place. We have our own little room. Like we want to invite people. Like we're, you this keep is, calling it a little room though, but that right, is not eighty a, some people. It's like eighty some people. Right. Like we got this little room over. So he's being modest about it. They've given us a banquet room almost. Yep. You know, it's a just big room. for our show. Yeah. Yep. So come join us. We want people to purposely come on a Wednesday, on hang purpose. out with us on purpose. We'll give you a discount card for ten percent mm -hmm. off your lunch, and. So, um, we, we have, uh, let's see, we have realtors come in there. We have mortgage people come in there. Private eyes. Private eyes, yeah. I, I don't think he liked being called a private eye. Detective. Private investigator. Okay, private yeah. investigator, okay. He was like, well, private eyes, like a little, you Okay. Know, I think it's a little. Uh, slurry, I didn't mean it that Not way. slurry, no, no, no. Okay. I think it's a little, you know, cartoonish or something. Okay. Call it that, but, but it's okay. All right, all right. Detective. De there you go. He's a detective. Private detective. Yeah. Private detective. So he was okay. a good guy. He lives right down here on the Forgotten Mile. Remember yes, he, he does. said that? So we drove right past his house this morning. I tooted twice when I went by. We've got car dealers that car come dealers. on. Yes, yes. Uh, we have automotive repair facilities. Oh, that's right. Wall Service Center. Trailer dealers. What other kind of trailer dealers? Yeah. Shed sales. Um, Everything. You know, we've got people from the restaurant that come on and talk. Gosh, I can't even think of all the, you know, people from other organizations. Mortgage we had a companies. What's that? Mortgage companies. Mortgage yep. companies. Yep. Um, we have had people that do home inspections. That's right. Yep. You yep. know, so um, mm -hmm. just a lot of different things. We've had uh, the gentleman uh, Ron Hagen who owns Best Shot. That's right. Yeah, Best he's Shot. Is, uh, he's a gun dealer. We've had and Rick Fowler. A, Rick no Fowler. nonsense office machines. That's right. Yep. Boy, yeah. now that we've started naming names, we're going to get in trouble. Oh, I know. You know who we need to get on? Who's that? Is either Snooky. Or Pat. We do. Vent yeah. on a Wednesday, 10 to noon. That's right. Let us know. We're going to schedule a five-minute interview and have you on just for the fun of it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, well, I mean, and, and they, they buy the friends and family package. They so do. They are qualified to get for on. This. 
to get on uh, every other month. Right. Right. Yep. So let's uh, let's get them on. Let's right. talk you about could, you Snooki. could literally be on we six buy, times a year. We buy from Snooki's Wall Service Center. We buy things from Snooki, and uh, they come around to us every week. And they keep us stocked up on certain things, you know. Like but anybody can pull in and deal with them, right? Even you know, if you're a farmer and you say, you know what, I'd like for somebody to stop by here and keep my oil in stock. I don't want to have to think about running out. I don't want to. I don't want to go to the parts store right. every time I need a quart of oil. Right. I want you know a quart of oil or a drum of oil. He he can get you 55 gallon drums of oil and uh, set them there for you. He's got a truck with a lift gate. He's got a snap really? oil truck. With a lift gate on it, he can roll them right into you. Wow. So yeah, yep. So wow, we uh, should have had Snooky move that transmitter for us. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> wasn't thinking on that. Right, one. we could have done that. Yeah. Right. Yep. All that right. would have been an adventure. They would have liked that, brother. So, All right. We back on the radio. Back. Huh? We back on 105.9. We're nine? coming. I hear it. Okay. All right. I'll You're see you later, that. Jim. It's my last Thank spot. You. All right, Colin Walls, Wall Service Center. Give them a call downtown Milford. Good quality service and parts. All right, what else is going on? We're going to have Rob on. Then we're going to have Susan Whitney. Okay, here is something big. This is happening today, April 13th. The Kiwanis Club of Bridgeville, their chicken barbecue is opening today. Opening day is April 13th today. It's located at the intersection of 404 and 36 out there on Seashore Highway outside of Greenwood, okay? So if you got a hankering for barbecue chicken, it opens today. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, Linda's standing up. She wants to get a good picture of this, by golly. So this is going to be Rob. He's the owner of Sunrise Restaurant. Worked here as a child, as a teenager, a young man. And uh, did you get it, Linda? Oh. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, so Rob, you worked here as a teenager, right? Sure did, yep. My okay. second job ever. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, but you had another job after that. I did. Okay, but this was your second job. Yes, indeed. All right, yes, and indeed. your first one was to keep your room clean. That was my first job, and, okay. and chores. You and know? your chores, right. And when I got tired of that, I decided I need to get a job. Mm-hmm, a real one. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. So stop, anyway. Stop relying on allowance. Right, right. So anyway, because um, it's got to do with performance, but so does having a real job. Yeah. It's true. Anyway, it's true. bottom line is you own and operate Sunrise Restaurant. Sure do. Yes, sir. And uh, you recently purchased the property. Yeah. A couple years ago, you bought the business. Yes, indeed. And so now you're open a few more hours, seven days a week yet? It will be this, this starting this Tuesday, seven days really? a week. Really? Yeah. We've so got the staff now. We're ready to go. Okay. So right now, technically starting now, you're open seven we days open a week. Seven days a week. Yes, sir. All right. So what are the hours again? So it's going to be... Seven days, right? It's going to be seven days. It is still 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., like okay. you know, say. You're good there. Okay. All right. And then what about these Friday nights and Saturdays? Yeah. going to so continue that? We're going to keep it going. It's it's working out pretty well for us so far. Last night was a little busier than average, so that was nice, you know. But Opening at 9. 9, 9 at night. 9 at night, yes. Till 3 in the morning. Yes, indeed. Who's here we at 3 it. in the morning? Well, guess, we are. Okay. First responders, probably. First responders. People that work uh, late. In- industry workers, food service workers. Okay. You know, um, wow. health care workers. Never thought of that. Or course. people going or two from the hospital if they sure been there waiting for a family member and then all of a sudden they're hungry on yeah, the way you, home. You get hungry. That's right. Right. How shouldn't cool have to that? go to Wawa. No, shouldn't have to. Don't need to. No. No, this is not fast food. This is good food fast. That's exactly right. I think well, someone else said that one time, but I, yeah. don't, I don't know who. Maybe me, but I don't know. <laughs> hey, what did you bring today? An omelet? I've got a vegetarian omelet for you. So Look this is that. actually not on the menu. Okay. But we uh, cut into it here. Try and separate this a little bit. Ooh, look at all of that. In there. What's in nice, there? We, so we've got tomato, onions, mushrooms, green pepper. Mushrooms wow. on top here also. Wow, so look nice. at that. Is that the normal size? It's huge. It looks 10 or 12 it inches is. long. Oh. So that's normal. Pull that back a little bit. There we go. It's a little better. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that's, so that's our normal size omelet and then just a Couple side of rye toast, toast with that. How much yeah. is that? Uh, this omelet, thirteen ninety five. With the toast? With the toast. Really? And the silverware. And the silverware. Yes, sir. But leave the silverware when you're done. Please. And I, the plate. I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. And what yeah. about the potatoes? 
Yeah, they're, they they're coming with, coming with it, too. Absolutely. Really? We get home fries All and for toast. one money. Yeah, all for one all money. All for one money, like everybody. Thirteen ninety nine. I like that. And well, everything made with love. Mm-hmm. You know how we do made it. Made from scratch. That's right. You know, in other words, um, when you get busy, right now when people order, they need to be prepared. The food is coming. That's right. Because you've literally got staff back there. You're well staffed, you know, yes. in other words. You've got the food. On hand, it's not pre-cooked or anything like that, but the minute they order it, you're making it. Yes, indeed. And you know the nice thing is we're lucky in the sense that we have staff return year over year. Mm -hmm. So it's less training. They know what they're doing. Right. They're familiar with the... Exactly. Wow. Hit the door and start working. Right. That is kind of nice. It is great. And you do take out, too. Yes, we do. Okay, so people can place an order. We'll do delivery through DoorDash as well. Oh, okay. Delivery, too. All right. Yes, Can sir. you do DoorDash at 3 in the morning? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Okay, I didn't Absolutely. know that. Absolutely. Right. Now, we do stop taking orders around 2.40, 2.30 okay. on, the, on the system and on the phone. Okay. You know, just so we can get these guys out of here at a decent time. Right. All right. Anything else I need to know? I don't think so. I think that's all for me we, right now. We've had a nice crowd this morning. We so. are. We're open 7 now. Yes, mm-hmm. yes indeed, Linda. Absolutely. Yep. Anything else? I don't think so. Oh, T-shirt's doing a good still job. for sale. Oh, 25 bucks. Good 25? quality shirt. Yes, indeed. It okay. doesn't shrink up too much like those Hanes. This is the Gilded brand. No, this brand. is a good one, yeah. It's good. And it has a pocket. Yes, indeed. Printed front and back. Never have too many pockets when you work in this place. I agree. Right. You, know? you can keep your tips or your ink pens. That's right. Or your dreams. <laughs> or your dreams. Keep That's your right. dreams in your pocket. That's right. All right. Okay, Robbie, thank you very much. Okay? Thank you much. Did take you care. Leave this? Um, no. Do you want that, Denise? I'll take it with me. Okay. I'll, I'll take it with me for no sure. Problem. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. All right, that was Rob. All right, Susan Whitney's coming over. Oh, my goodness. Don't forget, I'm looking for a zero-turn mower. I'm willing to buy it, but I'd rather trade it. I'd rather trade it for advertising on radio, um, on TV, or on my billboard, or on this show. I need a new zero-turn. If you're out there and you sell one and you want to talk about it, let me know. I'm hot on the market. Okay, we're going to take a picture real quick. Hello? All right, Susan, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Now, what are we talking about today? We are talking about my nonprofit, A Walk okay. in Their Shoes. All right. How long have you had this nonprofit? Um, it has been in a nonprofit since 2020, but okay. I started it with three other ladies in 2015. Really? And Nine then I years just ago. Continued with it and oh, 2015. Yep. Right? Okay. That was our first walk. Really? So yep. you do things to uh, support first responders. Correct. Okay. So do you have a thing coming up? We do. I'm hoping we have quite a few. Okay. Uh, last year we paired with the FOP Lodge Three and mm-hmm. we did an oyster benefit dinner. It's actually their dinner. We it has paired dumplings with them. too though. They did, yes. Okay. You were there. You Does also made a donation. It will have dumplings again. Okay. Um, we paired with them last year. Uh, they had their best year. We raised over fifteen thousand dollars that night. So okay. thank you because you were You're there. Welcome. Um, we're doing it again I this year. That. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it will be in Felton again, okay. the first Friday in October. Basically, it will be the first Friday in October until we don't do it okay uh this year that would be october 4th okay, we're working sure. once we finalize the contract we'll have the event posted the tickets okay. and all of that okay um we are taking any donations if somebody has like a leftover pardon well wait a minute i interrupted you uh, items for the auction items for the auction because okay. we do a live auction silent auction chinese auction Okay. Um, if you've got, you know, Aunt Betty's Christmas present that you don't want and you haven't returned, oh, we will gladly take it oh. from you. Okay. Or if you're so, out and about, the best thing is uh, your dollar at the Dollar Tree, grab an extra book. Right. Or uh, we can put buy some gift cards. A gift cards. Let we you can put them baskets off. together. I had someone donate a beautiful scarf to me, handmade. Okay. So we're going to pair it with some hot cocoa. I bought and a fire pit. Fire pit. Somebody made it. It was really Ooh, neat. Yes. Right. What else did I buy? I forgot what else I bought. But uh, anyway, I can't remember. Yeah, but yeah. you were there. We're doing that again. I'm also working on my annual rally. Okay. Uh, this year it will be in the city of Harrington. Okay. Um, looking at June, I okay. haven't. The chief and I haven't narrowed down a date. All right. What kind um, of rally is this? Some. Yeah. It, it's usually on a Saturday or Sunday morning. Okay. We walk. Um, 
a mile or less. Okay. It's just a show of unity for okay. our support for our law enforcement officers. All right. Then we'll have a little um, brief speaking, a couple so, of speakers. So a lot of what you do is a fundraiser yes. to give back to other things. Correct. Right. Now, um, that, that event at the Felton? At Felton. Now, that was for the FOP Lodge 3. Correct. Most right. of the money goes so to FOP there. Lodge 3. They were very generous to give us some as well. Okay. Um, because of that, we were able to make a donation to the Harrington Police Department this year to help with their first annual, or last December, okay. uh, first annual Shop with a Cop. Okay. Oh, we'll be okay. making a donation soon to the Smyrna Police Department for their Smyrna at Night event. Okay. Um, so it, it's all it cycles, and it just everything. cycles right, right around right. In the, within the community. Well, a walk in their shoes. A walk in their shoes. Okay, so is there's a Facebook page? There is a Facebook page, correct. So people could go there and learn about a walk yes. in their shoes. They could contact you through that if they want. They can contact me, Messenger. Uh, my phone number is on there as well. Okay. And so you're looking for donations, donations. of items to that could be auctioned off either in a silent. Yes. Um, or a live auction. Mm -hmm. You're looking for people that may want to come to an event. Correct. That may want to walk or run in some of your events. Mm -hmm. Yes. People that may just say, I just want to be a sponsor of an event. Correct. Okay, so you're looking for anybody that's open-minded to getting involved and making a difference. Most definitely. Our so. law enforcement officers are very important to us. Yes. Uh, they keep us safe, um, and I think they need all the help they can get, and Correct. I think they need the support, that, all the support they can right. get. And encouragement, in other words. Correct, you know, in most other definitely. Words, you know, in a, in a spirit of unity, you know, you yes. know, showing that, you know, we support them. Correct. We care about them, you know, in other words, and stuff like that. So. Yes. All right, and um, what else you got going on, in other words? Um, is there any events towards the end of the year? Or are we just focusing on the summer right now? Um. Uh, I... Well, October is the event. The other one's June. I was okay. approached by uh, an officer at Millsboro, so I want to work with them. To this was what I was thinking, October. October, That's yes. what it was. Okay, yes. okay. Um, but I was recently, uh, I met a lieutenant from Millsboro Police Department, and okay. he was very excited and asked me to some. speak with him to see about doing an event down in the Sussex area. Okay. So I want to get up with him. I'm hoping maybe September. Okay. Because the All third right. Saturday in September is National Thank a Police Officer Day, so it's always nice to do an event oh, really? that day. Oh, okay. So really, you're, you're basically looking for anybody that wants to have an event that's police-related. Yes. Correct. That's going to help raise some money to be able to do some good for a local police agency, yes. if you can. Yes, we usually uh, work with all of our municipal departments. Right, so, so that's ultimately what you're, you're yes. doing, you know. Yep. So, all right, how'd you get into this? Um, I was married uh, to a cop oh, for okay. quite a few years. So you got to see what it was I like. I do, um, and you really don't understand until you get really, really Correct. close to that, yep. what they actually do and see and mm -hmm. and have to go through. The gamut of emotions. Yes, You know, in definitely. other words, you could go from literally stopping somebody from speeding mm -hmm. um, to going to an accident where some drunk driver maybe killed a couple family members. Correct. Um, to some domestic where somebody got hurt. Yep. You know, many different things, you know, and this is all in an eight or ten hour shift. Most With definitely. no break. With yes. no break. In other words, you know, just... You know, just going round and round. I, I've done some ride-alongs, in other words, and um, it's just, I don't even know if they do them anymore. So, But it's an interesting way for you to get a glimpse. Yes. Because even though the car is, is a mechanical thing and the computer is and all that, the person doing all this is a human being. Yes. Just a human being. I had that, a very young officer speak at one of my events, and his first week on shift, he had to respond to a fatal accident. And it ended up being someone he knew from high school. Right. Right. And he's right there. And it was right there. Yeah. And it was probably senseless. Yes. It, probably. Yeah, yeah. In other words, you know, that's the sad thing about a lot of accidents nowadays. People are just not paying attention. Oh, no. Not at all. You know, they're almost all preventable if people would just be more conscious of what they're doing. Yes. All right. Well, I'm going to thank you for all you do. You're so um, a walk in their shoes on Facebook. Shoes. Look it up. Like the page. And. Get involved. Make a difference. I appreciate that. Thank okay. you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. See you. you. Have bye a great bye. Day. Bye. All right. There she goes. Okay. What else is going on? I don't know what else is going on. Denise, did you have anything else you wanted to touch on? Don't think so. Okay. We're going to get Pat Vent. Come right on down. Oh, she was just waiting to be asked. We're going to ask Pat Vent who cuts the grass at the Vent home. Okay. Okay. 
Sign autographs after you've been on, okay? okay. All right, Pat, how you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Oh, we're thank taking a picture first. Okay, look tall. <laughs> All right, Pat, how you doing? Doing well, thank you. We have missed you. You've been oh, going for a couple weeks. Two weeks, yeah, okay. we miss being here. In the future, we need you to fill out a permission slip. Oh, to get back? To, no. Well, no, to just be going. Oh, just be gone. Yeah, don't just, don't just take off on us like that. Now, are you retired? Retired. I'm retired. Okay, what did you do for a living? I was a banker. Banker, banker. you counted the money? And my boss, one okay. of my bosses, I've cut in the, towards the end. Keep talking my, into the microphone. Towards the, uh, the end of my retirement, right. I floated around to different banks, which was real. I wish I'd started that sooner. Floating? Yeah, it was just Like help awesome. out here for a couple yeah. days? Somebody was calling sick on okay. vacation. I would okay. fill in. So and, one uh, of your bosses is here? Yeah, Beth. That's really? Beth, yeah, yeah. Is she retired too? She's retired also. Okay, yep, wow. So that was, yes. So you were and, in the banking industry? Yes, 20 some years. Same bank? Uh, well, it started off Sussex Trust. Okay. Well, in Wilmington Trust. Yeah. And then it went to M&T. And my uh, daughter was pregnant, so I okay. said, you know what, this is a good time to retire. Really? Do you remember Cliff Short? Who? Clifford Short. Uh, absolutely. Okay, do you what? remember Jack Allen was on the board? Jack Allen, yes. Okay, oh, wow. Got, yeah. Wow, yeah. I remember Sussex Trust. Oh, yeah, that was a good bank. Yeah, that was yeah. a good bank. Well, that they was, were all good. <laughs> yeah, they were all good, yeah. So, um, were you able to keep a lot of money every day working at the bank? Like, w yeah, when you I checked out the thing, if there was <laughs> too much money, were you allowed to take it home? <laughs> no, unfortunately no, okay. not. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, but it was a lot of fun. Interesting. It was really, really interesting. Met a lot of great people. Okay. You know, what is that? friends with a lot of them. What is that thing where it has something on a dollar bill? What is that? A star? Are you familiar with that? Where so. paper money at the end of the serial number has a star. My grandson collects those. Oh, is that right? But they mean something. Or there's something different about them. Yep. I'm not real sure, so I'm yeah. to say. Well, if you find any of your bills that have a star on it, just Keep give them to me and I'll, I'll give them to me. him. Okay? <laughs> right. I Especially if bills. they're big bills. Hey, do you have any $500 bills? Uh, oh, well, you do? Oh, I shouldn't maybe. have asked. <laughs> you want to get rid of them? No, that's fine. All right. <laughs> Up. Oh, it's a printing error. Okay. Ah, so okay. it's kind of a rare thing, though. Right, yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, now so you don't can have I any. say good morning to my grandkids? No, no. <laughs> that's next Saturday. Here's your grandkids. Good morning, Eric. Is Eric, Eric watching? Yeah, Eric and uh, Ashley. And then, okay. the, and then um, I have five great grandchildren. Do you really? Yes. Uh -huh. Wow. And their names are Kenton, Kenton. Dax, and Judd. And uh, Cruz and Delaney. Really? And then my own kids, Snook, Bill, and De uh, Stacy. Wow. Debbie You've done good. Sister. Oh, I love You've it. done good. You and Snooky have made a difference we in our have. community. Yeah, I think we have. So, I think you have, too. Yep. Okay. All right. So what else are you getting into? Um, let me see. We went to the movies uh, oh, a couple weeks ago. Oh, did you? Ghostbusters? We the, no. We went to see uh, King Arthur. Oh. It's, it's actually, it's a based on a true story. Really? And uh, it was really good. It's about the dog. And, okay. And um, how he came into the group and okay. did some amazing things. Wow. But where we went to see it was the Dags Brown. Oh, isn't that the nice? The theater, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Did you go up we, in the balcony? No, we didn't go up in the balcony. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So you didn't go to the bathroom? <laughs> Bathroom's on, no, <laughs> Bathroom's on the second floor. Bathroom's on the second floor. Oh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just check it. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. Oh, Jim, thank you. Thanks for being here. We okay. love everything you guys well, do. Well, we love you. That's awesome. Okay? Thank you so much. All right. I'll see you. Bye. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. What else is going on? Terry, did you want to have a word? No. Okay. Okay. All right. So... Um, oh, okay, I got you. All right. So, what else? Anything else? Um, did you want to talk? Okay, well, come on over. I believe this is Christine. I can't remember. I'm 99% sure. But I am looking for a zero-turn mower. I want to say that again. First question for Christine is, do you cut grass? Yes. Do you use a zero-turn, tractor, push mower? 
Um, well, I have a tractor and I have a Husqvarna regular ride mower and we push. Oh, wow. Oh, we have to take our picture. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, and you're supposed to talk into that. Okay. Sorry. All right, so how are you doing? I'm good, doing good. Good. I wanted to come on here because I wanted to wish my son, Michael, he had a 21st birthday. Michael, happy birthday. And my grandmother turns 96 today. So we're going to be wow. having a birthday. Lillian Calloway of Harrington. Lillian? L Lillian Calloway. Lillian Calloway. How, what age? 96. 96. Wow, isn't that cool? Yep. Is she connected to Callaway Furniture? Cousins. Cousins, really? Okay. Yep. My grandmother has, um, do you remember the June Jam when it used to be back on oh, Macaulay's yeah. Pond? That's my grandmother. Really? Mm -hmm. Wasn't there like a swing that swings out into the water? Used to be. Used to be. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, what else you got going on? Um, well, my daughter last week was at the Delaware State Fair. They had their cow camp show. She had Junior Grant and Champion. Really? Mm -hmm. So she took a cow there. Yep. And she won Junior Grand Champion. Yes. What's her name? Mason Foxwell. Mason Foxwell. Mm -hmm. Congratulations She's on that. She's the president of the FFA group uh, chapter at Milford High School. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. They have a little farmette in the back with all their animals. Really? Mm -hmm. the kids at have the Milford take, High School? The Milford High School back along the highway. I can, a little remember, farm. I can remember there being FFA at the Milford High School. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was more like a shop that worked on engines and stuff. They have Mechanic that too. Stuff. Okay, okay. They have a female teacher that actually teaches welding and, and the um, okay. engines and stuff like that. Really? So it's really fun. Well, well, yeah. good. Kids have a good time. Well, good. Well, thank you for joining me, okay? You're welcome. All, All right. right. See, see ya. ya. Bye bye. All right. She's beaming. She's proud of her kids. All right. So, with that said, I'm looking for a zero turn mower, but I'm really looking for somebody. Um, I'm really looking for somebody that um, wants to maybe swap one for some advertising, but if not, I'll buy it. So, um, am I supposed to mention this after? Gotcha. Okay. All right. So anyway, with all that said, this is a weekly show. It's made from scratch, and um, once in a while, we'll make a mistake. My guests will, not me. But anyway, no, we make it from scratch. We have a good time, and we're sitting inside of a restaurant called the Sunrise restaurant and it's Robbie and he's open seven days a week now good food made from scratch good food quality food made from scratch he's got good employees he's got consistent employees they come back year after year after year and help him and it's really nice but from the minute you order to the time you have your food it's just a couple minutes okay so anyway Johnny Martin did you want to say anything on the show? Did you want to join me? Did you want to join me on the show? Oh, come on down. All right, you got two minutes, young man. This is Johnny Martin. I know him from the stock car days. We're going to take a quick picture, and you got about two minutes worth of time. All right, did you have any food? Oh, lots of food. Good. What would you have today? I did. Egg or easy, scrapple, and pan two pancakes. Blueberry. Blueberry pancakes. Blueberry. Wow. Blueberry. Well, are you sporting a new hairdo? I get it, finally got it cut. Oh, okay. My girlfriend Bev was fussing, said, I've got that long get a ponytail. It was, it was getting in your eyes. <laughs> so what are you going to do? I'm up on do? top like you are, though. Right. What are you going to do today? Uh, got a funeral go-to uh, of a lady that uh, used to go line dancing. When I was, so, you know, I was still oh, line right. dancing, teaching okay. line dancing all in Bridgeville. Okay. And uh, going to that, and then... Uh, this afternoon, I don't know. There was a car show at the uh, Hudson Field, too, I think, today, somebody said. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I was riding by, seeing had advertised there. Okay. And then we'll probably go dancing tonight somewhere. We were dancing right. li night, last night, line dancing at the uh, Cape and Open Elks in Lewis. Really? Yep. Okay. And then I'll be back Wednesday teaching at the uh, Legion on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday night. The funeral's Miss Cannon. Pardon? Mrs. Cannon. Mrs. Is the funeral you're going to? Uh, no. No. Uh, somebody else. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you're busy line dancing. Yeah. You like it. And I was going to go, I thought about stock car race last night, but uh, it, it, rained got rain, out. Rain out. Yeah. it got rained out. But next, okay. what, two weeks from now is Melvin Joseph so. Memorial. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to that one. Should so be I, good. I still keep up with that, too. Well, good. Yeah. Busy. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Glad okay. to be here. Thank All right. You. I'll see you both. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
All right, next, um, we're about out of time, so I want to say thanks a lot to everybody. Lawrence is back at the studio taking the phone calls. So for the callers that called, uh, for the people that advertised, for the people that are on the show, all of you, we appreciate you. For everybody here at Sunrise Restaurant, working hard, making the magic happen. The food is just coming and going, and uh, it really looks good. Look at them pickles there, Denise. A whole plate of pickles. Wow. So, I hear the music. We are done on the Delaware 105.9 audience. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Have a good weekend. We'll see you next Saturday morning. All right. So, we are still on Fine Day Radio and TV Delmarva. And stay tuned for a brand new show this week on the Hill. So, is that next week? Oh, it's next. Oh, right after this. All right. Stay tuned for it. I don't want you to miss it. See you. Have a good weekend. Goodbye, everybody.